Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another broadcast of Lady Raider Basketball and Raider Basketball on NTV. My name is Craig Miller. I'm sitting right along ringside with my tag team partner, Chandler Holt. Yes, and sir. Yes, sir. Good to be here. Good to yes, be here. Yes, glad to have you here, bro. And we are in Paragould, Arkansas, Paragould High School, Doc Painter Court, one of the uh, coolest old gymnasiums in the 5A East, oh. one of the coolest gymnasiums in the state. Gotta I love say, this place. one of the top. This uh, big crowd coming in right now for what should be an excellent doubleheader tonight is Nettleton and Paragould. Now, Nettleton is kind of, especially on the guys' side, they've run through a, a gauntlet over the last couple of three games with Green County Tech and then Marion and then West Memphis. Tonight, for the Raiders, for the uh, the guys' team, a lot easier of a um, of a contest compared to what we have been facing yes, with, these ra- with these Rams. It's been a real tough tough run for these guys and girls. It's I, I got to say it's it's any any person's game. I got to say during on the court, but you know I got to say Nettleton probably has the upper hand on this one. But I can't really pick sides at the moment. Hey, so I I'd, I'd give it to them both as of right now. It's because we're objective sports journalists. Got to say, we're yes, very fair minded. We gotta don't stay we fair. don't we don't pick sides, but we're both rooting for Nettleton to win. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Raider pride forever. Raider pride. That's right. Um, as far as the girls go, Nettleton coming in sixteen to sixteen and two on the season, three and zero in conference. Paragould five and nine, one and two in conference. But there's an old sports cliche, one of the oldest in the books, Chandler. Whenever certain teams get together, you can throw the record books out the window. And that's the way it is with these Lady Raiders and these Lady Rams. This is a really good rivalry. Should be a good game here tonight. Got to say, it's going to be a good matchup tonight. I'm psyched to see it. Well, you've been listening to the Consolidated Insurance pregame show. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the tip off of the girls' game. It's Lady Rams, which is an oxymoron. Lady Rams. (laughs) Lady Rams. It's Lady (laughs) Rams and it's Lady Raiders. It's coming up next. You're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. We're Terry Gray. Rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. What is America? Is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother! America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's truck accessories. Russell's truck accessories? Yeah, Russell's truck accessories! They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies in their little compact cars. Russell's truck accessories. It's more American than Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne. Russell's truck accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless America and God bless Russell's truck accessories! Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back, getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what the bad guys try, Collision Repair works with your insurance to make sure you don't have the worst experience possible. Here's the Collision Repair on their 40th anniversary. Your friendly neighborhood body shop. 
Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. That's right, a place where the food comes flying to you, and it's good enough to eat. Front Page Cafe is also famous for our all-you-can-eat pass-arounds that come with every lunch or dinner. Lunch specials start at just $6.99. That includes a meal, flying rolls, and all the pass-arounds you can eat. So get your next home-cooked meal at Front Page Cafe. And don't forget, we've got the best old-fashioned breakfast in town. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. Hi, I'm Mike West, the owner of Hilltop Fitness. I am the former University of Arkansas strength conditioning coach, former Ultimate Fighter contestant, UFC fighter, and Bellator competitor. I offer at Hilltop Fitness many different programs, from kids programs in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kids boxing, and kids strength conditioning and athletic training as well as adult kickboxing classes and adult Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes. If you have any fitness needs or fitness goals, I'm the person to come to. The gym is open 24 hours a day. You can come in anytime. And if you're looking for that extra motivation, that extra push, no matter how bad a shape you're in, we can help you. And if Craig Miller can come to the gym and get in shape, you can do it as well. Hilltop Fitness, 1712 North Old Greensboro Road, Jonesboro, Arkansas. We welcome you once again to Paragould, Arkansas, Paragould High School, Doc Painter Court, named after the legendary high school boys coach, Doc Painter. And we are just about ready to get underway with some Conference 5A East basketball action. This is a loud gymnasium. The acoustics just bounce around everywhere in here. Oh, yes, sir. It's getting kind of loud in here. Very noisy. Good atmosphere, though. Good student section and good group of Nettleton fans that, is, uh, that have made the trip. Starting, the starters are uh, being announced right now. The starters for Nettleton is Briley Pena, Daly Dacus, Ilana Eaton, Wakiria Daniels, Travia Woodruff. Starters for Paragould, Carson DeFries, Alex Brengard, Blythe Benefield, Olivia Hancock, and Katie Smith. We are just about ready to get underway here. Looks like Ilana Eaton will be tipping at midcourt, as she has done all year. Ilana scored 31 points in the last game that the Raiders played, Lady Raiders played, as they uh, defeated um, as they defeated West Memphis. And I don't recall the final score because I've slipped since then, but it was a pretty good beatdown that the Raider, Lady Raiders put on the Lady Blue Devils, and now then we're ready to get started. Oh, yes, sir. Nettleton controls the tip. Travio Woodruff to Briley Pena. Pena at the top of the key. Passes right side to Wakiria Daniels. Wakiria dribbling with her left, or excuse me, Travia. Back to, to Wakiria, then back to Travia. Helps if you call the right names. Wakiria Daniels. Pass to Briley Pena. Travia Woodruff, good defense here by Paragool. They kick it inside, back out to Alana Eaton. Alana Eaton from three, it's good. That's a good three from Alana Eaton. I do got to say, uh, the Lady Raiders do have some good coordination on their side, so I do see that being a good aspect for their win tonight if they were to get one. They really, uh, really play well together for sure. And Alana Eaton, she did not score a point the entire first quarter of the last game. I think she scored 31 points in the final three quarters. So that's a good sign for the Lady Raiders, Chandler, that Alana's getting off on a hot start. Yeah, Ilana, she just had to, you know, get her mindset in before she started. Alana with a steal. Now Alana with a layup. Cannot get it to fall, but she is fouled. She will be shooting two. Do got to say, though, this is a good, good first start of this game. It's really heating up real fast over here. Oh, it's... It is a fast-paced game for sure. Olivia Hancock, the guilty party for Paragool. And Lana at the line. Her first shot is up and good. Her last game, she was 12 for 12 at the free throw line. 
Impressive, impressive she, shots. She just does not miss from the free throw line. I think the ball just kind of trusts her in her hands and just it just goes in anyways. And looky there. That's what you Look call a that. jinx. That's yeah, what you call a jinx. No kidding. <laughs> That's on me, folks. My Not bad. with a miss on the free throw line. Yeah, my, wow. my direct quote, Chandler, was uh, she does not miss from the free throw line. <laughs> and then she missed from the free throw line. Jinxed it right off the bat. That's Blythe Benefield who's going to be going to the line shooting two. As she was... She was fouled. That's Daly Dacus, first personal, first team foul. And Blythe Benefield sinks her first. And that makes the score Nettleton four, Paragould one. It just seems like these, uh, these free throws really determine who's going to have a good solid lead in these halves over here. I do think those free throws are actually very important. Very important, no doubt about that. Hit those free throws. It's one thing the Lady Raiders have done well all season. That's going to be a travel right there on Wakiria Daniels. And like she was trying to draw a foul, was not able to get the ball up in shooting position. She kind of had a little blockade from Paragould over there. I did see that. Back in my day, that was called up and down. You can't, you can't go up and down. Just traveling is, is the technical call for it, I suppose. Loose ball. Daly Dacus comes up with it, and Daly Dacus is going to be called for a travel right there as she unfortunately fell to the ground. Coach Smith not happy about that turn of events. Seems to be getting heated over there on, <laughs> on, the, on the Raiders' side. Hey, let me tell you something. Anytime it's Nettleton and Paragould, you can bet. Look at there. Nice job by Blythe Benefield. Seems Paragould is putting some points on the board now. Look at that. They've cut it to within one. Trey Woodruff drives, shoots, can't get it to fall. Ball goes out on a Paragool player. Actually, it goes out on a Lady Raider player. My bad. And here come the Lady Rams. Alex Brengard bringing the ball up. Lady Rams Back. bringing it on up. Rebound, Ilana Eaton. Ilana Eaton. Driving, she's gonna take it herself, and she is fouled. Alana will be going to the free throw line for two more shots. I tell you, Alana Eaton does not miss from the free throw line. Does not miss at all. <laughs> that one was just that last one was just you know just for you know practice. That's it. Didn't didn't count. That foul charge against Blythe Benefield, her first personal, second team foul. Alana Eaton sinks the first. Good solid shot from Alana Eaton. Oh yeah. Checking into the game for Paragould is Britton Rolson. Ilana's yeah. second shot. The anticipation. The Solid in, you know, anticipation over here. Up and good. Raiders have scored six points, all of them by Ilana Eaton. Paragould able to inbound. Nettleton with a little... A little bit of a full court pressure out there. Wakiria Daniels working against Blythe Benefield. Alex Bringar driving, and she is fouled underneath, I believe, by, I don't know if they called that on Daly or, or yes, Daly, I believe they called it on. Seems that backboard got in the way from that shot. Actually, that's uh, Travia Woodruff, her first personal, second team foul. Brengard at the line sinks the first of two. Good to have Parker Clements running camera for us tonight. Good to have Parker back. Parker the sinks that second shot over there. Good hand. We got ourselves a one-point game. Let me tell you something. This is a uh, this is a great rivalry. Nettleton and Paragould on the girls side. It's it's been the class of the 5A East for a long time. Ilana Eaton with the bucket. Yes, sir. It's been, it's been a very heated rivalry for as long as I can remember. Paragold has always been, you know, there to really get anybody heated over in the Nettleton. Well, they've got a great program here for sure. Coach Jay Cook did a wonderful job. and Oh, no doubt about it. Sanja Tate, the new coach. Best uh, basketball player in the history of Arkansas State University's women's program, Sanja Tate. Yes, sir. 
She is the new head coach here at Paragould. It seems uh, Carson DeFry is trying to make that pass over there. It seems to have been knocked out of bounds by one of our Lady, Raver, Lady Raiders, by Wakaria. Benefield from three, sinks it. Oh. Hey, well girl, thought three over there. That girl can play. That ties the game up at eight. And Coach Jason Smith wants a timeout, and he is going to have a frank exchange of ideas for, with his team for sure. We'll take a 30-second break with him. 433 remaining in the first quarter. We're all tied up at eight. You're watching Raider Basketball on MTV. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. And we welcome you back, Doc Painter Court. Nettleton with the ball, all tied up at eight here in the first quarter. Just back and forth, pass after pass. Mm. Double D, Daly Dacus unable to, unable to finish. And Paragould with the rebound, Paragould with the ball. Alex Brengard dribbles right side, kicks it out to Benefield. That's a loose ball. Yeah, steal by Wakiria Daniels. Wakiria puts it in the basket. Great. Sinks that two-point layup. Yes. Not, not a bad play at all. Great job by Wakiria. Gives Nettleton the two-point lead. Brengard falls, and Nettleton takes advantage. Trey Woodruff to Wakiria Daniels. Layla Eliotti in the game. Kicks it over to Ilana Eaton to Wakiria, and there's a foul on the ground against Paragul, against Alex Brengard. That is Alex's first personal. Seems to be Wakiria. Third team foul. Oops. Trey Woodruff to Layla Eliotti. Eliotti to Ilana Eaton. Ilana backs up. Looked like she was about to drain a three, but instead she dribbles. There it goes. Off the front of the rim, no good. Benefield with the rebound, and Travia is going to be whistled for the foul. I do see some good footwork down on the court tonight. It's looking good for both sides, but I got to say, Lady Raiders do have a good advantage tonight, because uh, Ilana Eaton, I heard, got signed for uh, the U of A. That's right. And so I do got to say that's a good advantage because you don't, you don't just get there for nothing. That's right. If you've got a major D1 player on your team, that's a pretty good advantage. Uh, they're definitely D1 for a reason. It's got to be a backcourt. I guess that there was some contact. Look at Wakiria Daniels. Perigo going to have to get it across. Seems the crowd is getting kind of heated yeah, at the moment. Yeah, Coach Jason Smith was also wondering why that was not backcourt. I guess the referees saw some contact that we didn't see. So, timeout on the floor. And I'll tell you what, we'll just keep it right here during this timeout. I want to say a shout-out to our director, Ryan Bell, doing a good job. He is pulling all the levers. He's got two or three wheels going down there that he's keeping right in – time. He's doing a good job directing. Good job, Ryan. Also want to say a big thanks to our great friends at Collision Repair. My, my friend Jeff Edgar, one of the all-time Raider great baseball players, and both of his children graduated from Nettleton, and he is the man what runs the show at the Collision Repair. We appreciate the honor of sponsoring this live stream, Collision Repair. You need your car fixed, head all over to Collision Repair. Best place to go. No doubt about it. Two-point basket for Carson DeFreeze, and she's going to go to the free throw line for the and one. And that ties it up for Perigold and Nettleton. And that foul is charged against Nettleton's Layla Eliotti, first personal, fourth team foul. Carson DeFreeze, and I believe it's pronounced DeFreeze, is at the uh, free throw line, and she converts the <laughs> – the traditional three-point play and gives Paragould 
their first lead of the ball game, 11 to 10. Brought themselves back up, it's looking good. Alana Eaton with a spin move, kicks it back out to Briley Pena. Briley Pena dribbling right. Pena drives, shoots, Pena scores. Heck of an offensive weapon, number three for the Lady Raiders is Briley Pena. This young lady can play basketball. She can definitely play indeed. Her offense is incredible. I wouldn't want to play her one-on-one. -on -one. No, sir, not at all. Carson DeFries can play a little bit herself. Nice layup there by number one for Paragould. Gives Paragould another lead. So these two teams, like a couple of heavyweight boxers, just swapping licks right now, swapping leads. Yeah, kind of points just elevating on both sides here tonight. It's looking good for both of them. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a good basketball game, folks. We're glad to have you along for the ride. Riley Pena, she's bumped as she shoots. No whistle. Elana Eaton, three-point basket. Elana seems to have made up for that miss right over there. That's 12 points on the game for Elana. Make that 11 points on the game for Elana. 11 out of 13. And Briley's going to be whistled. Whistle for the foul. That's Briley's first personal. Nettleton's fifth team foul here in the first half. Nettleton with a good solid two-point lead. Paired goal with the ball. Just over a minute to play here in the first quarter. Carson DeFries. Rolson back to DeFries. Going to be DeFries has traveled for the whistle. She must have taken one too many steps there. Into the game for Nettleton is Natasia Oliver. Natasia takes the ball in, gives it to Briley Pena. Nettleton with a two-point lead with 50 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of play. Briley Pena, sophomore sensation, kicks it to Natasia Oliver, Wakiria Daniels, Ilana Eaton from three, no good. Rebound Nettleton, Wakiria Daniels sticks it back. Another Great good job. Ma another good made-up shot, love it. Oh, boy. Briley Pena is going to be whistled for the foul there. That is Briley's second personal, sixth team foul. One person we do not need to get in foul trouble is number three, Briley Pena. She is a difference maker for these Lady Raiders. Got to say, that would be a heartbroken tragedy right, up, right there. She's going to get a little bit of rest. Uh, Layla Eliotti filling in for her in these final 24 seconds. Paragold gets an offensive rebound and I assume Sanja Taid is going to set them up for the final shot. Clock is at 15. Layla Eliati guarding Blythe Benefield. Layla with some good defense. Benefield <laughs> takes it herself and she sinks the layup. Two, one. Layla Elana Eaton sinks a three pointer at the buzzer. Elana Eaton with a good three point. Love to see that. What a way to end the first quarter. And that's 14 points, 14 points in the first quarter for Ilana Eaton. Incredible job. Man, what a great way to finish the first frame. Nettleton up 20 to 15. That's well, how you end in the quarter. That's right. We'll be back after these messages. You're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. They say being a Raider is about more than just going to school. They say being a Raider is about our community about tradition. Kindergarten at Nelton is about teachers that I love, learning that is fun. It's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider pride is justified. Raider pride forever. The high school, home of the Lady Rams, always tough Lady Rams at the end of the first quarter. Nettleton enjoying a five-point lead. The reason it's a five-point lead instead of a two-point lead is because Ilana Eaton with a buzzer-beating three-pointer. 14 points in the, uh, in the first quarter for Ilana. I'm doing the math right now in my head. Ilana Eaton on pace to score 56 points. Incredible. She's on pace to score 56 points. Don't mean she will, but 
if she scores 14 points in every one of these quarters, she's going to have 56 I'm definitely points. sure she'll make it. That's Nettleton Arithmetic at its finest right there. Thank you to Jim McDaniel, Charlene Jernigan, for learning me how to cipher. Benefield misses from underneath. Loose ball. Let's see what they're, they're calling it a foul against Paragould's number – Number five, that's Rolson. That's her first personal, fourth team foul. Nettleton has six team fouls, Paragould four. Layla with the ball in the play. Layla Eliati, my favorite name to say. Just, Just rolls, rolls off, off the tongue. Rolls off the tongue. Yes, sir. Layla to double D, Daly Dacus. And Daly Dacus is hammered as she goes up for the layup. That was a pretty solid shove over from the Lady Rams. Yeah, that's Olivia Hancock. That's her second personal. Fifth team foul. Double D, Daly Dacus heads to the line. She'll be shooting two. She sinks the first one. Giving Nettleton the six-point lead. Solid six points. Now Not a good. Last week against West Memphis, Second quarter is where Nettleton pulled away from the Lady Blue Devils. It was a one-point game at the at the break. Things were definitely heating up with that game. It was very anticipating to see who was going to bring home that win. Oh man, no doubt. Nettleton difference in the game was the second quarter. That's a five-second violation against Paragool. Good defense there by Wakiria Daniels. Natasha Oliver inbounding. Leila Eliati, top of the key, passes to Wakiria Daniels. Wakiria drives, misses the layup. Paragould with a rebound. That's Britton Rolson. Benefield to DeFreeze. DeFreeze from three, bottom of the net. Very good. solid three point from DeFreeze. Yeah, good shot there. You got to. Gonna have to keep a hand in that girl's face. She can definitely fill up the old peach basket. Well, she can definitely fill it up, all right. And she's almost had a steal right there. So DeFreeze playing a good game on both sides of the of the court. Seems that Elana was kind of cornered right there, so yeah. she had no choice to pass it outside to Layla. Good defense by the Lady Rams. Wakiria Daniels drives, misses the floater. Good job there by Benefield. Kicking the ball over to her teammate. Good recovery from the Rams. Blythe in the field. And an, an Olivia amazing Hancock. play. <laughs> Two point basket, and here it goes to the end. These Lady Rams ain't going anywhere. They are not messing around tonight. That was a good under the leg pass from the Rams. Uh, they got Alana Eaton. They got tradition. They've got a, a great new coach there, Sanja Tate. Good rebound from Alex Bringard. Drives it down the court and seems to have missed. Should be going to the line shooting two, though. That foul was charged against Wakiria Daniels. First personal, seventh team foul. Alex misses her first free throw attempt. Second one on the way. Nettleton with a two-point lead. Five minutes and 46 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Bringard hits her second free throw, and it cuts the Lady Raider lead to one. Good crowd here tonight for this excellent rivalry game. Elana Eaton to double D. Daly Dacus. Dacus to Natasha Oliver. Back out to Elana Eaton. Elana Eaton calling for a screen. Elana Eaton from three. No good. Paragould with the rebound. That's Olivia Hancock who got the rebound for the Lady Rams. Blythe Benefield from three. No good off the front of the rim. Layla Eliati with the rebound, and here come the Lady Raiders. No hesitation from Layla tonight. All gas, no breaks. Layla Eliati. Just keeps going. Very solid player. Like the Energizer Bunny just keeps on going. <laughs> Layla on the right wing. She's driving. Layla Eliotti shoots, misses the floater. Good drive inside. Bringard with the rebound. She kicks it over to Benefield. 
Blythe Benefield, who had eight points in the first quarter. You talk about a, a good first quarter for Ilana Eaton. Blythe Benefield, no slouch herself. She's on pace to score 32 after that first quarter. Wow. The Raiders holding on to a tenuous one-point lead. Three-point basket, no good. Benefield with the rebound. Can't get the stick back to fall. Ilana Eaton with the rebound, and here comes Ilana Eaton, the future Lady Razorback. Ilana shoots, Ilana scores, and she is fouled. She's going to be going to the line, trying to convert the three-point play. See, the way it's turning out tonight to me, I'm almost confident that this game is actually going to come down to almost just a few points. Just back and forth tonight. I love it. Yeah, I'd say that's it's going to be a as, – if Dick Clay were here, he'd say it's going to be a barn burner. That foul charge against number 23. And during the timeout, I'll tell you who 23 is. I don't have her, I don't have her name on my roster here. So we'll get that figured out. We'll take a 60-second a, a break when we come back. More Raider basketball on NTV. Gary Gray, Rice Farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. America. Is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother. America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's truck accessories. Russell's truck accessories? Yeah, Russell's truck accessories. They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies in their little compact cars. Russell's truck accessories. It's more American than Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne. Russell's truck accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless. And we welcome you back to Conference 5 A East action. Lady Raider basketball on NTV. Nettleton with a three point lead. Wakiri. Daniels with the steal. And here comes Wakiria. Pulls it back out. Kicks it to Demaria Daniels, who's checked into the, to the game. Demaria Daniels driving, and I believe she's going to pick up a foul. Good job there by seems the, Demaria Daniels. Seems the, uh, she uh, took out Layla Eliadi. She put her on the sidelines of the court. Carson DeFries. Her second personal foul. Demaria Daniels misses the front end of the one and one. Alex Bringard with the carry. Working it inside. There's Ilana Eaton making the steal. Good job by Ilana. And look out. Demaria Daniels gets out of her way. Ilana Eaton from three. It's good. It still sinks that three. Impressive work from Ilana Eaton. Yeah, she can uh, she can shoot. She can make her own space, and you better not leave her open from that range because she will flat put the ball in the bucket. She's definitely got the coordination to be a ball player. DeFreeze with a layup. Nifty little layup there by DeFreeze, and she picks up the foul. Foul of charge against Nettleton's number one, Layla Eliotti, second personal, eighth team foul. And that'll send DeFreeze to the line. DeFreeze has 10 points on the game. Would have been 11 if she would have made that. Elana Eaton with the rebound. Kicks it over to Wakiria Daniels. Wakiria Daniels with a little jab step. She kicks it back to Demaria Daniels. Bradley Pena with a little bit of foul trouble. So she's spending some time over there on the Raider bench. That's a weapon you definitely like to have in the second half whenever you come in here to the Lions Den, the Rams Den, if you will. Yes, sir. I got to agree with that. Foul of charge against Olivia Hancock. That's her third personal. It's an eighth team foul. Double D, Daly Dacus will be at the line shooting the one and one. Misses the first. Paragould gets the rebound. Nettleton reacted like they thought it was two shots, but... 
It was a one and one, and Paragould with the rebound. Paragould with the ball, Nettleton with the four point lead. Good defense by Wakiria Daniels. Little uh, Paragould fans incredulous over here. They wanted a foul call. Brengard, she's trying to charge in amongst four black jerseys, and Nettleton's Alana Eaton picks her pocket. Alana Eaton to Leila Eliati. Leila Eliati right by the Paragould P. Top of the key to Wakiria Daniels. Wakiria is driving, and that's going to be an offensive foul charge against Wakiria Daniels. Hard, hard fall on Wakiria. Ninth team foul. Coach Jason Smith cannot believe the call. He's having a talk with the referee over there saying there's no way. There's no way she had her feet set. The referee sees it differently, and unfortunately for the Raiders, it's his opinion that counts. Got to say, it does. I'm not even on the team. He can very, be a very solid coach. You are on the, uh, you're on the broadcasting team, though. That's an important team. Hey, I got to say, best, best team out there. <laughs> <laughs> Foul charge against Nettleton's, I believe he said number 10. Yep. Number 10, that's Double D, Daily Dacus, second personal, 10th team foul. So Nettleton is now in the double bonus. I can't imagine when these, uh, when these plays are coming in that it gets kind of crowded on the court and you're just under pressure. So, I mean, honestly, I don't know if I can even handle this. I mean, it's just it comes down to one shot. And A lot of pressure for sure on these girls. And that's Paige Glenn who – Answered the challenge of the pressure by sinking two free throws right there. Good job by that young lady. Brings Pelgold up. Nettleton up by two. Layla Eliati, and she is going to be fouled. So, excuse me, that's Ilana Eaton. Ilana Eaton will be at the line shooting two. Foul charge against Blythe Benefield. Second personal, ninth team foul for the Lady Rams. Ilana Eaton at the line, first shot is good. She's five for six for from the line tonight. One down couldn't, can't be too bad. Five for six ain't bad. Six for seven. And now then, Elana with 21 points. Nettleton with a good solid four point lead in this game tonight. 21 points, that's a good that's a good total for a whole game, and Alana Eaton's got it here with a minute and 15 seconds to play in the oh. second quarter. Incredible work from Alana Eaton. Mm. Good hustle there by Demaria Daniel. Unfortunately, Perigold up to the task. One minute to play, Blythe Benefield. Elana Eaton picks up the loose ball and dribbles behind her back. Elana driving toward the basket, shoots with her left hand, misses. Paragould with a rebound. 47 seconds in the quarter, running and gunning. Carson, Carson the prize. That Carson was the shot. Misses D. Mario Daniels with a rebound. Elana Eaton lost the handle on it. I believe the freeze might have had something to do with that. A good defense there once again by the Lady Rams. Whistle is blown. And I believe that's going to be a foul charge against well, – it's against Nettleton. And I, it's against uh, number 25, Natasia Oliver, first personal. Nettleton's in the double bonus on their foul. So going to the line, shooting two is going to be Katie Smith. Smith's first free throw, no good. I, I think the people at home might have got to look at Bubba Deaton right there. We want to apologize for that. Yeah, very very graphic on this on this broadcast. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, we'll, we'll be getting complaints. Don't you be showing Bubba Deaton on my computer. That's what people are going to be saying. Yeah. Uh, Bubba Deaton's a great man. We're very fortunate to have him working with our young people here at Nettleton. Got to keep this PG for the kids. Can't That's have him right. showing his face. That's right. One good thing about Coach Deaton, Coach McCord, Mark McCord, both. Both those guys got great senses of humor. 
Elana Eaton sinks the layup and 14, 13 seconds. Nettleton with the five point lead. Paragould, I assume, will play for the last shot here. Clock's Carson. ticking on Paragould. Carson DeFreeze from three. Two seconds. Layla Eliati from half court. Just a desperation heave. No good. Your score at the end of the first half is Nettleton 31, Paragould 29. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes with the Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show. You are watching Lady Raider Basketball on NTV. Gray. Rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. America. Is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother. America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's truck accessories. Russell's truck accessories? Yeah, Russell's truck accessories. They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies and their little compact cars. Russell's truck accessories. It's more American than Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne. Russell's truck accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless America and God bless Russell's truck accessories. We welcome you to the Consolidated Insurance postgame show here at Paragould where Nettleton has a 31 a 31 to 29 lead over the Paragould Lady Rams. Nettleton got out to a 20 to 15 lead at the end of the first quarter. Ilana Eaton hit a buzzer beater at the at the uh, end of the first quarter to give Nettleton the 5 point lead. The second quarter, however, Belong to Paragould as they outscored Nettleton 14 to 11, and that is uh, how we got to the point where we're at right now. Nettleton up 31 to 29. Individual leaders for Nettleton, Ilana Eaton leads away with 23 points. 14 of those came in the first quarter. Bradley Pena has two. Daly Dacus has two, and that's how the um, that's how the Lady Raiders got their points. There's 31 points been scored by Nettleson and Elana Eaton with 23 of them and Chandler a uh, kind of a key part of this game Bradley Pena got in some foul trouble earlier with two first quarter fouls so she spent most of the second quarter on the bench and that's the reason that Pena does not have uh, more points than what she does. Yes sir I can't imagine she would get more she's a very solid player indeed very good player and you can bet we'll be seeing a lot of number three in the second half. As for Paragould, they are led by Carson DeFries and she hit a buzzer beater of her own three pointer there before the halftime break. She scored eight points in the second quarter, five points in the first quarter and she leads Paragould with 13. Blythe Benefield has scored eight, all of them coming into the, in the first quarter. Also for Paragould, Alex Bringard has three Olivia Hancock and Paige Glenn both have a couple. So that is um, your individual leaders, and that is your Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have the second half for you. Don't you go anywhere, folks. It's Paragould, it's Nettleton. A lot of great basketball action upcoming. You're watching Lady Raider Basketball on NTV. Say, 
being a Raider is about more than just going to school. They say being a Raider is about our community, about tradition. Kindergarten at Nelton is about teachers that I love, learning that is fun. It's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider pride is just a thought. Raider pride forever. So don't forget it. <coughs> Mr. Miller lost his voice. No problem. I'll send in the replacements. Woo! Woo, Daddy Mercy. Mercy, woo, Daddy. Handsome Johnny. How the heck do you edit on this thing? Mr. McGrew, you're in photo booth. What? <coughs> this son of a f Hey, that's all right. Good try. But I'll take it from here. Raider Pride! It's just a Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back, getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what the bad guys try, Collision Repair works with your insurance to make sure you don't have the worst experience possible. Here's the Collision Repair on their 40th anniversary. Your friendly neighborhood body shop. Uh-oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey, Leslie, guess what day it is? It's game day. Woo-hoo! Jalen, how happy are students that go to Nelson? I'll see happier than DJ on game day. Game day! Be yeah. happy, be a Raider. Raider pride is justified. For Terry Gray, rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I love the height of feeling. I'm a great car. When I sing my alma mater, I feel it all night long. I love my school with all my heart and soul. I know I'm going to be all right. Wherever I go. I'm a little bit country. And a little bit rock and roll. From the first time you held on, to the time you let go, life is a series of unforgettable firsts, the ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you, because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. That's right, a place where the food comes flying to you, and it's good enough to eat. Front Page Cafe is also famous for our all-you-can-eat pass-arounds that come with every lunch or dinner. Lunch specials start at just $6.99. That includes a meal, flying rolls, and all the pass-arounds you can eat. So get your next home-cooked meal at Front Page Cafe. And don't forget, we've got the best old-fashioned breakfast in town. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. Looking for a school can be like super overwhelming. You kind of have those fears as a parent that, oh my gosh, the school that I'm going to pick, it's going to determine their future and everything else. And you know, it's a big choice that you have because you want to make sure you're going to put them in a school where they can continue their whole journey. I'm really super glad we started at Nettleton. It was relief that we had found a school where we felt comfortable sending our child. I felt like any situation he'd get put into, he would be able to succeed. Hi, I'm Mike West, the owner of Hilltop Fitness. I am the former University of Arkansas strength conditioning coach, former Ultimate Fighter contestant, UFC fighter, and Bellator competitor. I offer at Hilltop Fitness many different programs, from kids programs in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kids boxing, and kids strength conditioning and athletic training, as well as adult kickboxing classes and adult Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes. If you have any fitness needs or fitness goals, I'm the person to come to. The gym is open 24 hours a day. 
day. You can come in anytime, and if you're looking for that extra motivation, that extra push, no matter how bad a shape you're in, we can help you. And if Craig Miller can come to the gym and get in shape, you can do it as well. Hilltop Fitness, 1712 North Old Greensboro Road, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Is Raider Pride truly justified at Nettleton High School? Does John Adams play a mean fiddle? That's how you do it, son. Nettleton High School, where Raider Pride is justified. Well, I'm headed to my high school, so happy. I got ready to be all IDE. We can shoot the hoop and swing the bat. I bet you wish your school was cool like that. Nettleton High School is for me. We got Raider Pride, baby. Only school with MTV. Coolest school in history. Now you know our black folks falling deep. When you're coming to our house, you know. Second half underway. Raider basketball on NTV. Nettleton with possession. And a foul called on Paragolds. Number four, Katie Smith. And that's how we get started here. That's the first personal for Katie. Wakiria Daniels goes up and is fouled. It's good to see so. our, our uh, number three, Briley Penn, back in the game. Yes. Good to have her back. Yes, no doubt about it. Carson DeFries whistle for that foul. That's her third personal. Wakiria Daniels at the line. Sinks the first of two. That extends the Lady Raider lead to three points here in the early seconds of the second half. Misses the second, and the Lady Rams with the rebound. Blythe Benefield. Brings the ball up for Paragould. Benefield far side. A little give and go play there by Paragould. And lose the handle on it. Good defense by Wakiria Daniels. Blythe Benefield, the top of the key. Passes to her right to DeFreeze. They try to get it in to Smith to DeFreeze. And DeFreeze, like she was passing it to maybe, maybe to Sanja Tate, her coach. Coach Tate unhappy. It's a turnover. Lady Raiders with the ball. 7-17 to play in the third quarter. Middleton with a three-point lead. Travia Woodruff to Briley Pena. Good focus on the court tonight. Love it. Next Friday night will be homecoming at Raider Gym. Briley Pena and Travia Woodruff, both of them on the homecoming court. Daly Dacus says Il Ilana Eaton fires one up from three. No good. Daly Dacus was the maid of honor at the football homecoming. Um, and so a lot of uh, royalty on the floor on Nettleton's side out there. Hope all of our Raider alumni that are listening feel more than welcome to come back, come home to Raider GM and support the Raiders next Friday night. Got to love the... Uh the family that Nettleton brings together. It's, it's good to see. That's a good word I hear used all the time is, is family. I believe Blythe Benefield, yes, Blythe Benefield is going to be whistled for that foul. That's her third personal, third team foul this half. Alana Eaton to inbound. Alana trying to hit Daly Dagus, and I believe she... Not exactly sure what happened there. Some kind of breakdown in communication, and Ilana throws the ball away. Paragould will take over. Carson puts the ball into play. Alex Brengard bringing the ball into the court. Solid defense on our Lady Raiders. Three-point attempt, no good. Rebound by Briley Pena. Pena muscling her way up court. Good pass to Double D, Daly Dacus. Double D. Seemed to have tripped little, on, that, on that shot down there. Yeah, a little, maybe a little contact, but not enough to warrant a foul. And it's, it is a turnover. Well, actually, that's, they're saying it's off on Paragool. I'll take it. 
Ilana Eaton now with the ball at the top of the key. Good pick there by Daly Dacus, and Ilana misses the floater, gets her own rebound, puts it up, no good. Eaton gets her own rebound, puts it up, no good. Eaton gets her own rebound, puts it up, no good. <laughs> a good repetition there, Mr. Miller. People listening at home think there might be a scratch in the record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing happened about five straight times there. Ilana Eaton will be going to the line shooting two as Brengard whistled for the foul by my count. That's her second personal. Good sink from Ilana Eaton on that first shot. Fourth team foul, yes. Ilana now with 24 points in this game. Had to keep getting her own rebound. Didn't really have any players in her surrounding area to really give it to. One so. Thing one thing about it, she didn't help her free th her uh, field goal percentage in that last little um, run, but she padded her uh, rebound stat. She's got like four straight rebounds right there. Yeah, you wow. Can bet, you can bet Ilana is on her way to another double-double. No doubt about it. Wakiria Daniels picks the pocket of Blythe Benefield, and here come the Lady Raiders. Travia Woodruff kicks it inside to Ilana Eaton. Great pass there by Travia. Seems to, have lost, seems to have lost the ball down there. Yeah, and Alana has whistled for the foul. That is her first personal. I could see the disappointment. I could see the disappointment over on her, her face. It doesn't seem to be really too happy. Yeah, she's not happy about that. If you think about it, look at her line up there. 24 points for Alana and one foul. Very, very solid ratio. Yeah, she's... She plays hard, and she has played a good discipline game here tonight. Driving with her left hand, Ilana Eaton puts it in the basket, and that's why she's going to be playing for the University of Arkansas next year. Solid, solid player. 35-29, to 29, the Raiders with a six-point lead, 4.45 to play here in the third quarter. Nice job by Travia Woodruff disrupting that pass. And Kicks it back in, going to be a jump ball. Possession is going Paragould's way. I can definitely say, Alana Eaton, it's, I can kind of feel her mood about having that crown, you know, with the most points on her team on the court right about now. It's a good, good thing on our chest to, you know, to carry on that court. Yeah, Alana's getting a little bit of a uh, break. Sanja Tate says we could use a break. We'll take a timeout. We'll take it with them. Four minutes and 25 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Raiders up by six. You're watching Lady Raider Basketball on NTV. Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back, getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what the bad guys try, Collision Repair works with your insurance to make sure you don't have the worst experience possible. Here's the Collision Repair on their 40th anniversary. Your friendly neighborhood body shop. We're in Paragould, Arkansas. Paragould High School where the Lady Raiders and the Lady Rams tangling in Conference 5A East basketball action. Nettleson with a six-point lead, 4.25 to play in the third quarter. Thank you so much for watching the game with us, wherever you might be. We're glad to uh, have you as a part of the broadcast tonight. Opening shot there, Athena Ludwig running the down, the down camera. And Parker Clements doing a great job up top tonight. We appreciate these students coming out on a school night. Another turnover for the Raiders, Travia Woodruff with the steal, tries to get it to Double D, Daly Dacus, and it is out on Daly. Paragould with the ball. Benefield takes it in, gives it to Brengard. Brengard to DeFries. Good slick pass over on the Ram side. Brengard shoots, misses. Good, oh, a good effort there by DeFreeze to try to kick the ball back to her teammate. Unfortunately for her, she had a foot on the line. Definitely good to see 
some uh, good offense on the uh, Rams side. Natasia Oliver into the game for the Raiders. She inbounds to Travia Woodruff. Trey back to Natasia. Briley Pena, Daly Dacus, and Alana Eaton in the game for the Lady Raiders. Good lineup. A lot of talent. A lot of talent on both sides out on the court for sure. Briley no Pena drives, it. misses a floater. Daly Dacus with the rebound. Daly Dacus with a stick back. Good job, Double D, Daly Dacus. Good recovery. Middleton up by eight. Paragould misses the floater. Daly with another rebound. And here comes Ilana Eaton. A little Good Euro step. Inside. It's going to be a jump ball as Daly Dacus and Olivia Hancock kind of got tied up with it. The possession arrow is in favor of the Raiders. I should say in the Raiders' direction. So Nettleton will inbound under their own goal. Travia Woodruff to Ilana Eaton. Ilana Eaton with an easy bucket underneath. Sinks that layup. 28 points on the game for number 23. And the Lady Raiders have a 10-point lead. Got some good passes over there on the court. Riley Pena working on Carson DeFries, and that's going to be a foul charge against Travia Woodruff. It seems Carson tried to make a pass over to uh, Brengard, but it seems the ball was out. Tra or Travia was there to disrupt it. Unfortunately, he got a little bit too much contact, and that's why they whistled the foul on her. It's uh, Travia's third personal foul. She's another one of those Lady Raiders that – we need that on the court. Travia Woodruff. She, she's definitely got some talent. She makes this team go. Loose ball picked up by Travia Woodruff. Passes to Briley Pena. Briley Pena misses the layup. She's going to go to the line shooting two. Nice long pass across the court. Travia to Briley. Carson DeFries with the penalty and with a foul. That is her fourth personal. Briley misses the first of the two shots. Rolson checks in for DeFries. DeFries with four fouls here in the third quarter. She's going to sit for a little while on the bench. Briley sinks that shot. Some definite good focus. Over from Bradley. Yeah, she's a uh, she's an excellent free throw shooter. Just a good basketball player in general. I do agree with that. I've enjoyed watching Bradley Pena play this year. She's it's good to have her. No doubt about it. Let's see Perigold trying to bob and weave those Nettleton uh, Raiders. Good defense by Layla Eliati. Loose ball. Bradley Pena has it. Three on one. Nettleton with a numbers advantage. Layla Eliati cannot finish. And Bradley Pena fights for the rebound. Good job by Pena. Layla, Elana uh, Eaton from three. Sinks that three. Good shot from Elana Eaton. Put it on the scoreboard. Jason Smith calls a timeout. We will take it with him with a minute and 24 remaining in the third quarter. The Lady Raiders have opened up a 42-29 lead over Paragord. You're watching Lady Raider basketball on MTV. They say being a Raider is about more than just going to school. They say being a Raider is about our community, about tradition. Kindergarten at Nelton is about teachers that I love learning that is fun. It's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider pride is just a thought. Raider pride forever. And we welcome you back to Paragould High School. Nettleton with a 42-29 lead over 
over Pergool with a minute 24 to play in the third quarter. Nettleton with some full court pressure. That's something that we have not seen much from the Lady Raiders. Pergool able to get it across the timeline. Blythe Benefield scores. That's 10 points on the game for Benefield. Good job by Blythe to beat the press and put the ball in the basket. Layla Eliati with a floater. She is hammered as she shoots, so she's going to be at the line shooting too. Good fluttered, good nice fluttered rushed, you know, drive inside from Layla. Rolson with the with the foul. Seems Layla. to have missed that first shot from Layla. That's Rolson's second personal. Layla misses both of them, and Paragould with 56 seconds on the clock. They are down by 11. Trying to work it inside, and Layla Eliati with the steal, but evidently had a little bit too much contact. Do got to say, the, I do like the uh, determination I see on the court tonight. One mistake happens, and they just pick it back up and take it in consideration and just keep on playing. It's nice to see. Perigold unable to get the ball in, and Nettleton with the ball. Briley Pena gets it across half court, passes to Layla Eliati to Wakiria Daniels, and that's a hard foul underneath charged against Kalen Lamb. See, Daly took a hard fall down there on the yeah, corner Daly, of the court. Daly was hit pretty hard down there. And that is the seventh team foul, so da Daly will be at the line shooting the one and one. Any old school Nettleton people like myself, they'll hear the name Lamb, and that'll ring a bell to them. Daylon Lamb, her father is the... A uh, trainer here at Paragould, and he's a Nettleton graduate. He has good to have those good to have those alumni back. That's right. He has a lot of brothers as well, starting with uh, Ronnie Lamb, who's class of '89. So class of '89, good shout out. That's right. Caden Lamb's uncle, part of the best class ever. Yes, sir. Lamb working against Elana Eaton, and she is fouled by Elana. That is second, second personal, third team foul. Kaylin Lamb will be at the line shooting two. I do believe this is Lamb's first time at the free throw line for the game. It is, and she is 0 for 1 right now. So her Rams down by 12. Second one is good. She makes up for that first one. 43-32 with... 20 seconds on the clock. I would figure Coach Smith would play for the last shot. But I have been wrong on multiple times in my life. Ilana Eaton from three, right wing, no good. Paragould with the rebound. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Less than two tenths of a second, and Olivia Hancock's going to the line shooting two. Nettleton with a solid 11-point uh, lead here tonight, 32-43. to 43. It's looking bright for Nettleton tonight, but who knows? Paragould can make an easy comeback. But they're definitely capable of definitely closing a lead quickly for sure. Olivia Hancock sinks both free throws, and the third quarter... Two tenths of a second away from from uh, coming to a close. Elana Eaton tries to get one off, but just too far. Too much real estate, even for Elana Eaton. At the end of the third quarter, your score: Nettleton 43, Paragould 33. Fourth quarter. When we come back, you are watching Lady Raider basketball on NTV. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. 
We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. For Terry Gray, rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. What is America? Is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother! America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's Truck Accessories. Russell's Truck Accessories? Yeah, Russell's Truck Accessories! They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits. Fourth quarter action underway here. Paragould with the ball. Bly Benefield misses the four-footer. And Nettleton with the ball. Tell you the truth, part of the entertainment sitting over here amongst these Paragould fans is watching the fans. Uh, Got to say, they are getting kind of heated over these <laughs> calls from the ref, but it is quite entertaining. A time or two, I felt like I have at a wrestling match where they're hollering at the ref. <laughs> this lady down here just hollered, she's got a chain, she's got a chain. <laughs> Tra Travia Woodruff misses a floater and Lamb with the rebound. The Lady Rams who are outscored 12 to four in the third quarter with the ball. Hancock thought about taking the three, thought better of it. Dribble to her left and Paragould setting up their offense. Good focus from Alex Brangard. Paragle with her own offensive rebound. Ben Benefield drives and Bly Benefield scores. And the points her, start coming in. That is her 12th point of the game and it makes it a eight point lead for the Lady Raiders. And one thing that the Lady Raiders have been guilty of a time or two this year is a little bit of what the old-timers might call scoreboard watching, thinking, hey, we got a big lead, let's just stop playing. They cannot do that against Paragool. Travia Woodard from three, no good. Lamb battling for the rebound. Loose ball goes Paragool's way. Here comes Brengard, kicks it out left wing. Blythe Benefield. And Tra Travia Woodruff is going to be whistled for the foul, her fourth personal. You feel like the momentum has shifted a little bit toward Paragould's way here. It's kind of getting to him a little bit. I do see that. Solid matchup here tonight. Always is whenever these two teams get together. No doubt about it. Don't you go anywhere, folks. The guys game right after it, and it should be a dandy as well. Paragould and Nettleton, good rivalry. Good defense over there by Trey via Woodruff. Ball knocked out of bounds. Paragould's ball. Carson DeFries. She's back. Puts, puts the ball into play. And she passes the ball to Wakiria Daniels. Wakiria going one on three. Passes out to Ilana Eaton. Misses the three. Good job, Daly Dacus. Crashing the boards, grabbing the rebound. And there's a foul charge against Paragould. Foul charge against Kaylin Lamb, her second personal, eighth team foul. So Double D, Daly Dacus will be at the line shooting one and one. Wilson back into the game for DeFries. Throughout the game, uh, Daly, I do see, has had some good Solid free throw moments this game. It's looking bright for her tonight. Yeah, she's a good free throw shooter. And right on cue, 
she misses one. <laughs> yeah, another jinx. Wow. Another jinx. I'm blaming that one <laughs> on you, though, Chandler. That one's got to be me. I will take the blame for that one. Five minutes and 20 seconds to play. Nettleson with the eight-point lead. Riley Pena working on Blythe Benefield. Blythe Benefield kicks it back out to Brengard. Brengard driving. That's Hancock to Benefield. Over on the left wing is Brengard. Hancock driving and Double D, Daly Dacus. Got a little too much hand on that block shot. That is her third personal, sixth team foul. At the line, shooting two for Paragould will be Olivia Hancock. Olivia is two for two on the night from the line. She misses the first one. Second one on the way. Good atmosphere, good crowd. Shout out to our Nettleton cheerleaders over there supporting yes. us. No doubt about it. A couple of them are in our NTV lab class, in fact. Abby Davis and Zoe, what's her name? Zoe, Zoe, Zoe something. I can't remember that girl's name. Zoe Anderson? Zoe Anderson, there yeah, you yes go. Yes, sir, Zoe Anderson. Yeah, how could I have forgotten that? <laughs> now, great young lady, Zoe Anderson, Abby Davis. And as we said, they are in our NTV lab class. They help, help produce productions like you are watching tonight. Quality entertainment, I gotta say. <laughs> Lamb working against Double D. Good job, Daly Dacus blocks the shot. And Briley Pena drives, and boy, she is hammered. I hope she's okay. She hits the ground hard, and she is in some pain. Gotta Knocked say her that. shoe off. Solid hit on Briley. Looks to have been in some pain right now. That's Olivia Hancock, whose foul was on, and that's her fourth personal, ninth team foul. And it looks like she's going to tough it out. Yeah, Briley's a tough girl, no doubt about it. Hit her so hard, knocked her shoe off. That's hard. To be honest with you, I don't think I could do that. Pena at the line, and she misses the first. She will... Can't help but wonder if that hard foul may have something to do with that. Second free throw is good. Pena with four points on the night. Middleton has scored 44 points. Elana Eaton has 31 of those. Schoolborg's got her credited with 30, but. My scorebook says 31, and for once, I think I'm right. Might have to be, Mr. Miller. Might have to be. And last break, I checked with Kate Carlton, who's doing the radio work for us here. That's five seconds. Good defense there by Wakiria Daniels. Second time tonight, Wakiria has uh, drawn a, a five-second violation against these Lady Rams. Good job by Wakiria. Much to the dismay of the Paragool faithful over here. They did not feel it was five seconds. But what the referee says goes. Wakiria Daniels. Actually, Travia Woodruff to Briley Pena. Briley Pena to Wakiria Daniels. Wakiria to Travia. Travia right side. Natasia Oliver to Ilana Eaton. Ilana Eaton driving. Loses the handle on it. Picks it back up to... Wakiria, Wakiria to Briley, to Natasia. The Lady Raiders milking some time off the clock. Ilana Eaton from about the free throw line misses the shot. Foul charge underneath to Middleton's number 25, Natasia Oliver. Second personal, seventh team foul. So that means that Paragould with three minutes and 29 seconds remaining in the game and trailing by eight, they're going to head to the charity stripe for a one and one. Middleton with a good eight-point lead still here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I would be totally fine if they kept that eight-point cushion the rest of the way. Would actually love that. Brengard sinks the first of her two free throws. And as you mentioned earlier, Chandler, free throws are so important in this game. And 
Alex Brengard trying to pull her team within six with one of those free throws, and she does. So it's a two-possession game now if both of those possessions resulted in a three-pointer. Travia Woodruff to Natasia Oliver to Briley Pena. Pena dribbling left back to Natasia. Natasia to Travia Woodruff. Travia Woodruff working against Carson DeFries. Drives, shoots, cannot get it to fall. Lamb with a rebound. Net the uh, niece of the great Ronnie Lamb from the class of 1989, the best class ever. Definitely got to say so. <laughs> Bringard misses, and Briley Pena is there for the rebound. Two minutes and 40 seconds to play. Nettleton with a six-point lead. Briley Pena dribbles in, left hand misses. Daly Dacus fighting for the rebound, but it goes to the Lady Rams, Blythe Benefield. Benefield kicks it over to Brengard, 2.24 on the clock. Nettleton with a six-point lead. Benefield, as she traveled to her left, Sanja Tate calls a timeout, and we will take it, we will take it with her. It is a full six. Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back, getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what the bad guys try, Collision Repair works with your insurance to make sure you don't have the worst experience possible. <laughs> Here's the Collision Repair on their 40th anniversary. Your friendly neighborhood body shop. And we welcome you back to Paragould, Arkansas, where with two minutes and 19 seconds remaining in this game, Nettleton has a six-point lead. I want to say thanks to our great friends at First Community Bank, Alan Williams. I see Alan right across the way there. Maybe if our director, well, I guess Ryan might not know who Alan Williams is. But, but just trust me, Alan Williams is a, uh, a great supporter of Raider sports. His, uh, there's your good shot of, of Alan Williams right there. He's the president of First Community Bank, one of our great Nettleton families. His wife, Dana, is the librarian at Nettleton High School. And there's uh, Cooper, his, their son, all-conference center for the Nettleton Raider football team. Outstanding linemen and outstanding family. And they're a big part of the First Community Bank family. And First Community Bank's a big part of these broadcasts. We appreciate First Community Bank. Definitely a good shout out to those guys. Blythe Benefield kicks it over to DeFreeze. Brengard driving in. Briley Pena, a little bit of contact, no foul. Turnover. Travia Woodruff steals the pass. 155 on the clock. Briley Pena to Elana Eaton. The Ilana. anticipation just builds up as the clock ticks down. Yeah, the clock is our best friend right now. Let that thing eat. There's a foul called underneath. I believe it's called against Lamb. Let's see. Yes, that's called against Kaylin Lamb, her third personal, 10th team foul. So this is double bonus time for Nettleton. Wakiria Daniels will be at the line shooting two free throws. She misses the first one. Wakiria with five points on this game. I believe those five points, that's, that's good for... Well, she and Dayla Dacus both have five. That's second highest on Nettleton's team. These points can definitely be crucial for the game. If you just go by Ilana Eaton, as Dayla Dacus has whistled for the foul, that is Daly's fourth personal and ninth team foul. If you just go Paragould against Ilana Eaton tonight, the score would be Paragould 38, Ilana Eaton 31. So Paragould would be beating Ilana Eaton. You've got to give him credit for that. That's, that's not easy to do. Not easy at all. Hancock misses the front end of the one and one. However, Paragould gets the offensive rebound. Blythe Benefield, which I'm assuming Blythe has a double-double tonight. She's definitely got uh, double digits and points. 
She's got 11 points. I bet she, she's got at least that many rebounds. Benefield drives and has the ball stripped away from her. Appears Jump of, ball as Trey Woodruff ties her up. It appears uh, she tried to make a layup and just kind of got the ball yanked from her. Forgot something. Yep. Can't make a point without the ball. Travia Woodruff gets the ball across the half-court line, a.k.a. the timeline, with one minute and five seconds remaining in this game. Bradley Pena to Daly Dacus. Coach Smith unhappy with what he's seeing, and he calls a timeout, and he's going to talk things over with his troops. 57 seconds remaining in the game. Nettleton up six. You're watching Lady Raider basketball on MTV. Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. That's right, a place where the food comes flying to you, and it's good enough to eat. Front Page Cafe is also famous for our all-you-can-eat pass-arounds that come with every lunch or dinner. Lunch specials start at just $6.99. That includes a meal, flying rolls, and all the pass-arounds you can eat. So get your next home-cooked meal at Front Page Cafe. And don't forget, we've got the best old-fashioned breakfast in town. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on NTV. 57 seconds remaining. Nettleton with a six-point lead. Nettleton cheerleaders over there entertaining the crowd tonight. I, Gotta love it. I kind of hate it. We were on break. Had to, One of our cheerleaders was walking on her hands the length of the baseline. I've never seen that before. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Got a good, good round of applause from the Paragould faithful here. Riley Pena taking it in. 57 seconds left on the clock. I was beginning to wonder if he's going to be able to inbound that. DeFries, who has four fouls. You can bet she's not wanting to foul, but I believe she just did. So Carson DeFries is going to be fouled out of this game, and Riley Pena will go to the line shooting two. 48 seconds remaining in the game. Riley Pena trying to make it more than a two-possession game. Carson DeFries obviously upset. And Sanja Tate over there giving some encouragement to that. That young lady has played a heck of a game. DeFries with 13 points. And they've got to get a replacement in for her. They send in Sam Wood. She'll be checking into the game. Bradley Pena's first free throw is no good. Elana Eaton with the offensive rebound. Elana Eaton puts it back up. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't count because there's two shots. Good focus from Bradley. Bradley Pena sinks the second of her two free throws. And there's 46 seconds remaining. Nettleton up seven. Hancock misses gets her own rebound puts it up misses Ilana Eaton gets the rebound and she's about to get fouled I have a feeling 33 seconds Ilana Eaton kind of daring them to foul her and yeah Olivia Hancock is whistled for the foul and that is her fifth and Ilana Eaton will be going to the line shooting too Here's that Paragold crowd is kind of heating up over here. But what they don't realize is Paragold was wanting to foul right there. It's one of those deals where it was, it was an on-purpose foul. It behooves them strategically to do that foul. Guess they don't know that. <laughs> you know, they, they're of the mentality over here that any foul is, is just them. It's just a bad thing for them. They're gonna they're gonna grab about it. <laughs> Lamb coming into the game. And Ilana Eaton at the line. Ilana with 31 points on the game. 28 seconds left on the clock. 32 points in the game now for Ilana Eaton. That the same as Smilly, you almost had that. Makes this a 33. Look at there. 33 Look at points that. for Ilana Eaton with 28 seconds to play in the game. 
Elana has scored 33 of her 47 points. Nine point lead from Nettleton. Three point attempt is good. That is Sam Wood with a three pointer. She just checked into the game just a few minutes ago and hey, that's how you do it. 14 seconds remaining in the game. Nettleton up six, we'll take a break. With them, you are watching Lady Raider basketball on NTV. Gary Gray, rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. Big, big thanks to Terry Gray at Della Plain Seed for sponsoring tonight's live stream. Great man and just a, uh, a friend to uh, Nettleton Television. His wife, Kathleen Gray, who is the principal. It's my wife's boss, actually, is the principal at wow. Nettleton Esteem. They're wonderful people and always so supportive of what we do in Nettleton Television. Really do appreciate them. 14 seconds remaining in this game. Nettleton with a six-point lead. Nettleton taking the ball in. They get it to Ilana Eaton. Ilana dribbling down, does not get fouled, and sinks the basket. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. They pass it in, and that's the ball game, folks. They're going to be, let's see if they called the foul on Ilana. I think they may have called a foul on her. They did. They called a foul on Ilana. Right as time was expiring, so Paragould will go to the line, but Nettleton will win the game. Good win from our Nettleton Lady Raiders tonight. Yeah, Katie, Katie Smith is going to go to the line, I do believe. Yeah, Sanja Tate having a uh, discussion with the referee over there, but... I guess we're not going to shoot the free throws after all. So your final, Nettleton 49, Paragould 41. I guess they what they said was that the, the foul happened after the buzzer went off. Uh, so the referees call the game over. That's a win for the Lady Raiders, 49 to 41. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have totals and highlights for you in the Consolidated Insurance postgame show. You're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. Say being a Raider is about more than just going to school. They say being a Raider is about our community, about tradition. Kindergarten at Nelton is about teachers that I love learning that is fun. It's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider pride is just a thought. Raider pride forever. So don't forget it. <coughs> Mr. Miller lost his voice. No problem. I'll send in the replacements. Woo! Woo, Daddy Mercy. Mercy, woo, Daddy. Handsome Johnny. How the heck do you edit on this thing? Mr. McGrew, you're in photo booth. What? <laughs> this son of a <laughs> Hey, that's all right. Good try, but I'll take it from here. Raider Pride! It's your time! Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back. Getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what the bad guys try, Collision Repair works with your insurance to make sure you don't have the worst experience possible. <laughs> Here's the Collision Repair on their 40th anniversary. Your friendly neighborhood body shop. Uh-oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> hey, Leslie, guess what day it is? It's game day. Woo-hoo! Jalen, how happy are students that go to Nelson? 
I was happier than DJ on game day. Game day! Be yeah. happy, be a Raider. Raider Pride is justified. For Terry Gray, rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. I'm a little bit country. And we welcome you to the Consolidated Insurance post-game show here at Paragould, where the Lady Raiders have defeated the Lady Rams by the score of 49 to 41. Nettleton led 31 to 29 at the half. The third quarter, however, was when the Nettleton Lady Raiders pulled away. They outscored Paragould 12 to 4. In the fourth quarter, uh, Paragould actually outscored Nettleton 8 to 6, but it was academic at that point as the Raiders had the game well in hand. The Raiders win 49 to 41. The leading scorer for Nettleton, Ilana Eaton. Now, by my count, she's got 35 points, but I do have to say I think the scoreboard may have been right. 34 points. It adds up um, that Ilana Eaton with 34 points. Bradley Pena with five. Daly Dacus with five. Wakiria Daniels with five. I've got Ilana with 35, but if you add all of that up, it's 50, and the final score is 49. So I'm thinking that somewhere or another I gave um, Ilana credit for a three-point basket. It was just a two-point basket. Maybe yeah, I'm, that's, gu I'm guessing a little, a little bit off. but Maybe that's what happened. Either, either 34 or 35 points, and I apologize. Not, not too bad. For not having that down, Pat. But it, that's a whole lot of points, 34 or 35. Oh, that's great. an incredible job from Ilana Eaton tonight. Great game by Ilana, and she's um, – a major reason why the Lady Raiders come out with the win tonight. For Paragould, they were led by Carson DeFries with 13 points and Blythe Benefield with 12. Alex Bringard and Olivia Hancock both pitched in five. Paige Glenn with two. Sam Wood with three. Kaylin Lamb, Katie Smith with one. Nettleton improves to six to 17 and two on the season. Four and zero in conference. Paragould drops to five and ten, one and three in conference. The Lady Raiders will play on the road against Mountain Home this Friday night. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to bring you the broadcast. It's just too far for our student crew to, tra crew to travel. We couldn't get there on time. We'd have yeah. to leave early from school. So but yes, you can't sir, listen yes, to all the, uh, all the action on 94.1. Can, we can't always be there. We can't always be there, that's for sure. But Cade will be there, and you can listen to the radio to him. So good win for the Lady Raiders, and this has been the Consolidated Insurance Postgame Show for all your insurance needs. It's Consolidated Insurance. Our great friends Randy and Lana Johnson consolidated insurance we're going to take a break when we come back in about five and a half minutes we'll have the tip for the boys game it should be a dandy pair gould and nettleton coming up next raider basketball on ntv they say being a raider is about our community about tradition kindergarten at nettleton is about teachers that i love learning that is fun it's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider pride is justified. Raider pride forever. So don't forget it. <coughs> Mr. Miller lost his voice. No problem. I'll send in the replacements. Woo! Woo, Daddy Mercy. Mercy, woo, Daddy. Handsome Johnny. How the heck do you edit on this thing? Mr. McGrew, you're a photo booth. What? This son of a f Hey, that's all right. Good try, but I'll take it from here. Raider Pride! Enjoy the Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back, getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what the bad guys try, Collision Repair works with your insurance to make sure you don't have the worst experience possible. Here's the Collision Repair on their 40th anniversary. Your friendly neighborhood body shop. Uh-oh, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey, Leslie, guess what day it is? 
It's game day. Woo woo! Jalen, how happy are students that go to Everton? I will say happier than DJ on game day. Game day! Be yeah. happy, be a Raider. Raider pride is justified. For Terry Gray, rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I love that high throw feeling of a great drop call. When I sing my alma mater, I feel it all night long. I love my school with all my heart and soul. I know I'm going to be all right. Wherever I go. I'm a little bit country. And a little bit rock and roll. From the first time you held on to the time you let go, life is a series of unforgettable firsts, the ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you, because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. That's right, a place where the food comes flying to you, and it's good enough to eat. Front Page Cafe is also famous for our all-you-can-eat pass-arounds that come with every lunch or dinner. Lunch specials start at just $6.99. That includes a meal, flying rolls, and all the pass-arounds you can eat. So get your next home-cooked meal at Front Page Cafe. And don't forget, we've got the best old-fashioned breakfast in town. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. Looking for a school can be like super overwhelming. You kind of have those fears as a parent that, oh my gosh, the school that I'm going to pick, it's going to determine their future and everything else. And, you know, it's a big choice that you have because you want to make sure you're going to put them in a school where they can continue their whole journey. I'm really super glad we started at Nettleton. It was relief that we had found a school where we felt comfortable sending our child. I felt like any situation he'd get put into, he would be able to succeed. Hi, I'm Mike West, the owner of Hilltop Fitness. I am the former University of Arkansas strength conditioning coach, former Ultimate Fighter contestant, UFC fighter, and Bellator competitor. I offer at Hilltop Fitness many different programs, from kids programs in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kids boxing, and kids strength conditioning and athletic training, as well as adult kickboxing classes and adult Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes. If you have any fitness needs or fitness goals, I'm the person to come to. The gym is open 24 hours a day. You can come in anytime, and if you're looking for that extra motivation, that extra push, no matter how bad a shape you're in, we can help you. And if Craig Miller can come to the gym and get in shape, you can do it as well. Hilltop Fitness, 1712 North Old Greensboro Road, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Is Raider Pride truly justified at Nettleton High School? Does John Adams play a mean fiddle? That's how you do it, son. Nettleton High School, where Raider pride is justified. When I'm headed to my school, so happy. I got ready to be all IDE. We can shoot the hoop and swing the bat. I bet you wish your school was cool like that. Nettleton High School is for me. We got Raider pride, baby. Only school with MTV. Coolest school in history. Now you know our black post on the D. When you come into our house, you know you're gonna get beat. Nettleton High School is for me. We got Raider Pride, baby. Nettleton TV production, Raider Pride, just about you. Yeah, we Raiders got the comfort ship. A loaded. Everybody wants to be a show. A voting. Raider Pride in the building, yeah, yeah. I know it. Ah, yeah, Raider Nation till the day it's over. Raider Pride, just a fact. Got it on my side. Six side, be the guy. Run up and you get a high. Press us the ball. And I'ma score it like Ooh. What y'all know about fifth period Raider Pride <laughs> Hop up on the field, you might just have a juke and job yeah. Every day, every day, yeah, I rep the five Cause yeah, you know we fifth period, yeah, we make it live Ooh.
What is America? Is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother! America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's truck accessories. Russell's truck accessories? Yeah, Russell's truck accessories! They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies in their little compact cars. Russell's truck accessories. It's more American than Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne. Russell's truck accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless America and God bless Russell's truck accessories! And we welcome you to the second game of this doubleheader. This is the boys game, Nettleton and Paragould. And we are underway. DeVaris Whitaker controls the tip. Paragould coming in. They are 1-13 on the season, 0-3 in conference. Nettleton 3-11, 0-3. So somebody's going to pick up their first conference win of the season here tonight. Let's hope it's the let's hope it's the Raiders. Paragould with the rebound. Yeah, let me sit here if you don't mind. Sorry. Jared Graham drives. Graham shoots and Jared Graham scores and Nettleton draws first blood. Two to nothing. Want to say welcome to the broadcast location to my tag team partner for this game, Coach Josh Wright. Coach Wright, glad to have you, sir. I'm glad to be here. Sorry I'm a little bit late getting to the booth. We were in the locker room for a little while after the game. Now, yeah, it's all right. I'm sure you were giving a Vince Lombardi type speech to the Lady Raiders after their big win tonight. It was a good, good win. Conference wins on the road are always tough. Paragould with an offensive rebound. They work it inside to. Carter Starling, and he banks it off the glass. We're all tied up at two. Coach, in this game, somebody's going to get their first conference win of the season. Something's going to give. Something's going to give tonight. Uh, we've got the Raiders looking to get their first win in conference play. Paragool's looking at the same thing, both staring down. What is it, 0-4? Um, yeah, so both 0-3 in conference. Demarion Daniels, long range three, no good. Javaris Whitaker able to grab the rebound. I think tonight it's going to be a lot about who can dictate the tempo. You know, Paragould probably wants to push tempo just a little bit, but at the same time, they know that the more they control the ball on offense, the longer it keeps the basketball out of the Raiders' hands. Seems like Paragould always plays Nettleton tough, no matter what their records are. This is a, it's one of those good rivalry games. That ball is off on, out on Jared Graham. And baseline out of bound. Paragool basketball. Carter Starling with the ball on the right wing. Kicks it over to Jamison DeVault. Nathan Lear. Lear from three. No good. Deep three, no good, but Taven McCullough tips it out of bounds. Out of bounds. It's going to be baseline out of bounds against or for Paragould again underneath their own basket. 22 is the trigger man underneath. One good thing about tonight's game, Coach, we don't have Chris Moore to worry about. That's true. Well, he ended up with 19 points and 15 rebounds the other night. That's not a bad game. Not a bad game at all. Three-point basket is airballed. Nettleton will take over. <laughs> Devarion Daniels brings the ball across half court to Devaris Whitaker. Devaris Whitaker to Jared Graham to Devarion Daniels. Whitaker, Jared Graham drives. 
shoots, misses. Rebound, Eli Schreit. All tied up at two, four minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter. A little bit of a slow start for both teams. Paragool gets their second bucket of the ball game and takes the early lead. 4.40 left to play. Paragool four, Nettleton two. See if DeVaris Whitaker can get the offense going. Deep three from Demarion Daniel, no good. Paragool with the rebound. And the Rams back on offense now. Three-point attempt, no good. That's Anderson with the rebound for the Raiders. Pitches to Demarion Daniels. Nice bucket by Demarion Daniels off balance under the goal. Good transition bucket there for the Raiders as they push it back and make the game or make the score even again. Tied at four in the early going. That's Eli Schreit with a two-point basket. Paragould up by two. DeVaris Whitaker driving baseline, passes to Demarion Daniels to Tabin McCullough. McCullough from three, no good. Paragould with the rebound, Schreit again. Tabin McCullough fighting for the loose ball, goes out on Paragould. Nettleton will take it in under their own goal. NTV cameraman Ryan Bell right down there and in the thick of things. In the middle of the action. Tabin McCullough with the bucket. It's been a good good addition to our team this year, Coach. Tabin McCullough. He ties it up at six. Yeah, Tabin's been a, a big part of the offense early on. You've got Demarion Daniel, another uh, player from Jonesboro. He's come in and been a big spark on defense, helps run the show. Uh, been a, both, both boys have been good additions for the Raiders. Foul goes against Paragould. That's Sam Freeman, his first personal. That's the first foul of this ball game. With three minutes remaining in the first quarter, we played a good solid five minutes of foul-free basketball, Coach. It's easy to get a little bit of game, uh, get through a little bit of game clock when you don't have many whistles, and that's what we've seen so far in this contest. See if we can break the tie right here. Jared Graham kicks it out to Anderson, and he is fouled. That'll be on the on the floor. That foul is charged against Nathan Lear. First personal, second team foul. Taven McCullough. This is a. About a six-footer, and the Rams with the defensive rebound. Jerry Graham whistled for the foul. First personal, first team foul against the Raiders. Paragould with two fouls. Nettleton with one foul. And we're going to see the other Graham brother coming in now, Jalen Graham into the action. we got both the Golden Grahams in now. Demarion Daniel going to the bench for the Raiders for a moment. Jalen Graham wearing that nose guard in honor of his favorite character from The Office, Dwight Schrute. <laughs> Sam Freeman with the bucket gives Paragould an 8-6 lead as four points here in the first quarter for Sam Freeman. So far, just been a back and forth tilt. Whitaker from three, no good off the back iron. Ball out of bounds, Nettleton's ball. Number four tried to make an attempt to throw it off of a Nettleton player's back, but he stepped on the line before he got the ball in his possession. Devaris Whitaker from three, how about that? Off the rim, off the glass, and good. A Little bit of a shooter's roll right there, a shooter's bounce, and the Raiders take their first lead of the game. This Paragould bunch is scrappy for sure. They're coming in with not a very good record, 1-13, but they always play hard and they always play tough against Nettleton. Devaris Whitaker, a little happy with his footwork before he started driving there, and he has whistled for the walk. Yeah, like you mentioned, you know, when, you, when it comes to rivalry games, 
anything can happen. There's uh, there's no way to really predict what what's going to happen when two schools come together that you know that are always competing against one another. And we have we have a lot of those rivalries in Northeast Arkansas. It doesn't matter whether it's Nettleton, Jonesboro, Green County Tech, Paragould, uh, Nettleton, Paragould. There's a lot of teams that we see quite often during the season, and you know both teams want it bad. And it just comes down to maybe sometimes who has the last shot. Boris Whitaker missing from three. Paragould with a rebound. That's Landon Manning who has checked into the game. He's going to be going to the line shooting two. Al's going to go against Jalen Jalen Graham. It's Jalen's first personal second team foul. Manning misses the first free throw. And he makes the second one that ties things up at nine. 50 seconds remaining on the clock here in the first quarter. Jalen Graham driving, kicks it to Jerron Haskin. The big man gets his own rebound and is fouled as he goes back up. This may be a close one all the way to the end. So far, I think we've had four ties in the first quarter if you don't count zero to zero. Uh, five if you do. Uh, Haskins here at the line with 37 seconds left in the first quarter with an opportunity to break. The tie once again. I'm going to get one more opportunity at it. That foul was charged against Carter Starling, his first person on third team foul. Jerron Haskin sinks the second, gives Nettleton a 10 to 9 lead, 36 seconds remaining in the quarter. Lear drives against Damarion Daniels. Can't get it to fall. Jaron Haskin with the rebound. Here comes Damarion Daniels and the Raiders. I like the tempo as Damarion pushes the ball back at the Paragool defense rather quickly. Good move by Graham getting to the baseline and ducking back in underneath the basket, but he must have hit the baseline as he made his last step. Uh, it's going to be Paragool basketball with 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Yeah, with Fine move there by Jalen. Unfortunately, he must have stepped on the out of bounds line. Paragool, five seconds, four, three, long range three, no good. And the end of the first quarter, Nettleton, 10, Paragool, nine. We'll take a 60 second break. Second quarter, when we come back, you're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. America, is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother. America is getting your truck fixed up at Russell's Truck Accessories. Russell's Truck Accessories? Yeah, Russell's Truck Accessories. They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies in their little compact cars. Russell's Truck Accessories. It's Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne. Russell's Truck Accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless America and God bless Russell's Truck Accessories. And we welcome you back to Paragould High School. Doc Painter Court, Rim Gym, Nettleton 10, Paragould 9, second quarter. I want to say a great big thanks to our friends from Russell's Truck Accessories for bringing this broadcast to you. Ronnie Russell, they're on South Stadium. If you got yourself a pickup truck, you need to go see Ronnie Russell make that thing look sharp. They got wheels, they got tires, they got lift ticket, lift kits, they've got Lift tickets, that's on the slopes of ski slopes. He can't help you out with lift tickets. <laughs> they got lift kits, they got those. Uh, they do tunnel. everything, they do everything. <laughs> they do, those tunnel covers, they, they got all kind of stuff there at Russell's Truck Accessories. Good supporters of the Raiders. That's a two point basket. Carter Starling, his fourth point of the game, and it gives Paragould an 11 10 lead. Lars Whitaker to Jalen Graham. Jalen Graham inside. 
to Andre Davis. Nice shot by Andre. It's good to see more guys getting involved in the scoring, Coach. Yeah, we're, we, uh, you know, we've mentioned the fact over the last couple of broadcasts, you know, the Vars Whitaker is a big part of the scoring for the Raiders, uh, along with Taven McCullough. They're typically 1A and 1B in the scoring column. Uh, but like you said, uh, a well-balanced team is a lot more difficult to guard. And when you have three or four kids that are going out and putting up 8, 10, 12 points a night, and then maybe a, a, a player that does score a little bit more, it makes it a lot tougher for the other team to defend and game plan against. Graham working it inside to Jerron Haskin. Good inside-out game by the Raiders. Jalen Graham misses the eight-footer and Paragould ball. Tabin McCullough checking back into the game for the big man, Jerron Haskin. Lear to inbound. Jamison DeVault working with Lear to get it across the half court line. And they do so just before the 10 seconds elapses. Terry Gould working on their half court offense. Good pass underneath. Good defense. Jalen Graham with the steal. Here come the Raiders. They got a numbers advantage. DeVaris Whitaker steps back. Three point basket, DeVaris Whitaker. Gives Nettleton a 15 to 13 lead. I like the confidence that that sophomore shows in his shot. You know, as the season has gone on, he has shown that he's got more weapons in his uh, arsenal than just attacking the rim. Uh, typically a very good very good player off the bounce. And he's had some he's had some nights where he did not shoot the ball real well from the perimeter, but he's also had some nights where he's he's contributed well from outside. Lear sinks the basket and he's going to be going to the line. And for the moment I think we have our fifth tie of the ball game. See what happens right here after the and one free throw. See if the Rams take an early second quarter lead or if the Raiders come down and have a chance to go up two or three. This free throw, nobody can get their hands on it. And we're going to have Demarion Daniel bringing the ball across the timeline with a chance for the Raiders to take a lead in the middle of the second quarter here. Tabin McCullough, good pass to Demarion Daniels. Demarion unable to get that three pointer to fall. Tabin's a good three-point shooter. We've already talked about that. He's a very confident shooter, but I like the I like the extra pass right there. He had a good look, but Demarion Daniel had a great look. I just didn't fall. Paragool basketball, 5-17 left to play in the contest, and we have a 15 all tie right now. Good ball game here on Doc Painter Court. court. Nice. Paragould has whistled for another violation. Yeah, Freeman looked like he got to the basket and didn't really have an option or didn't didn't know what he wanted to do. It almost looked like he was just throwing the ball up off the backboard and going to attempt to go get his own offensive rebound. In the process, he gets the over the back call. And it's Nettleton basketball once again. That's Jared Graham. He's kind of put his hair up in a strange fashion. I didn't recognize Jared there. Looked kind of like he got a pineapple on his head. <laughs> A good move underneath by Andre Davis. He puts the ball in the basket and gives Nettleton a two-point lead. That was a good enough move. That's one in football. You know, that might fake the cameraman out. Not sure <laughs> on the play action who's got the bat, who's got the ball. Got Landon Webb running the camera up here for us tonight. Up top. And he's got it under control. Devaris Whitaker with some fancy footwork and cannot get the layup to fall. However, he's going to be Head into the line as Eli Schreit is whistled. First personal, fifth team foul. Devaris at the line, shooting two. Devaris misses the first. 
I hope the free throw woes that the senior girls faced up tonight isn't isn't going to carry over into the senior boys contest. Seem to seem to have a lot of trouble this evening, knocking down shots from the charity strikes. And those are the kind of things that comes comes back to haunt you. Good job by Tabin McCullough, picking the pocket there of number 23, Landon Manning. Nathan Lear to Eli Schreit. Devaris Whitaker defending him. Jared Graham on the defense on Carter Starling. Starling to Manning. Basket is no good. Fighting for the rebound is Brandon Anderson. Good job by Brandon grabbing that thing. And Anderson takes it himself, and he's going to be going to the line shooting two. And the second trip in a row, we can't get a bucket to fall when we're getting the contact going to the rim. Uh, once again, we've got a Raider going to the charity stripe for a chance for two free throws. Let's see what Brandon Anderson does here at the line. Brandon, one of the sophomores on the team, isn't that correct, Coach? Yes, sir. Uh, one of several sophomores contributing. You have uh, DeVaris Whitaker, Brandon Anderson, uh, Davis, who's still in the game. And there's probably a couple others. I know early on, Good job, Jeremiah Anderson. Turner played quite a bit. Anderson getting his own rebound on that free throw. Good hustle. That foul is charged against uh, Paragool's Carter Starling. Second personal, seventh team foul. That may be a good uh, advantageous foul for the Raiders because I believe a lot of the offense has flowed through Starling even though he may not have scored. I mean, he got three, three different Paragool Rams with four points, but he was one of them and he seemed to have the ball in his hands quite a bit. See if we can take advantage of that. Graham sinks the first, the front end of the one and one. So they'll let him shoot another one. Nettleton's lead up to four, and now it's a five point lead for the Raiders. Coach Deaton says, I'd like to have a timeout, celebrate a five point lead, our biggest lead of the game, and talk things over with our team. We'll take the break with them with 3.43 remaining in the second quarter. Your score is Nettleton 20, Paragould 15. You are watching Raider Basketball on NTV. For a school can be like super overwhelming. You kind of have those fears as a parent that, oh my gosh, the school that I'm going to pick, it's going to determine their future and everything else. And you know, it's a big choice that you have because you want to make sure you're going to put them in a school where they can continue their whole journey. I'm really super glad we started at Nettleton. It was relief that we had found a school where we felt comfortable sending our child. I felt like any situation he'd get put into, he would be able to succeed. And we welcome you back to Paragould High School where the Raiders have a five-point lead here with 3.43 remaining in the second quarter. I want to say big thanks to our friend Mickey Feltz at the Front Page Cafe for sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Best breakfast in town. Sizzling bacon, fresh eggs cooked to order. Have you had their chocolate gravy at the Front Page Cafe, Coach Wright? You know I'm a big breakfast person, but chocolate gravy isn't necessarily my favorite favorite breakfast food. I, I'm, I'm big on biscuits and gravy. There's not many bre breakfast foods I don't like. Chocolate gravy. Not your I, thing. I, I, I know that might be a heresy to some people, but it's just kind of <laughs> no, hot, pu it's hot pudding to me. <laughs> different strokes. They have excellent sausage gravy there. We appreciate uh, the Front Page Cafe. And I appreciate Jared Grimm getting that rebound, sticking it back in. Gives Nettleton a seven-point lead. I believe that's going to be a foul charged against Brendan Anderson. Right there in front of the Paragool bench. He got his hands on the defender as he was going around. It's an easy one for the, the official to call. Paragool setting the basketball up. 3.18 left to play in the first half. Middleton enjoying a seven-point lead. I uh, just got a message. Uh, Calico Rot, this is from Sheridan Watts, Officer Watts, says that Calico Rock has officially disowned Coach Josh Wright. <laughs> I can understand that. I, 
I'm probably one of the few people from the hills that uh, don't prefer chocolate gravy, and I think that's probably where that comment or that, <laughs> that message is coming from. Hey, I'm glad to know Officer Watts is on duty tonight, monitoring the broadcast, keeping us safe from the safety of his couch on his big screen TV. Raiders up seven, rebound by Tabin McCullough. Can't get the stick back to go. A heck of an effort there by Jerry Graham, but no good is the field goal, and Perry Gould with the ball. 2.38 to play in the second quarter. Landon Manning will be going to the line, shooting two. That foul is charged against Jared Graham. That's Jared's second personal. Sixth team foul for the Raiders. I'll have to talk to Officer Watts tomorrow and see if uh, he uh, just gathered that information on his own or if he, if he made that decision on his own. That, sound, <laughs> that sounds like a, a hasty decision. Yeah, I don't think Calico Rock would disown you over something like that. Now maybe over a basketball game, but not, maybe not so, over but chocolate gravy. I don't think they care that much about gravy there. Off, Officer Watts and I actually uh, both graduated the same year. He graduated from Timbo High School in Stone County, yep. just a little ways from Mountain View, and I graduated from Calico Rock. Did y'all ever play against each we other? We actually played against each other. We uh, Now, he I admit this, he played a lot more than I did. Uh, he played for Timbo, and we were in the same conference. And we've got a Raider picking up a technical foul after DeVars gets the baseline drive in a bucket, drawing an and one. It was that uh, technical called on the bench, on no. the coach, or was it called believe, on a player? I believe that was called on a player. I'm not sure who it was assessed to. We may see when the substitution happens here. See who Coach Deaton takes out of the basketball game. It may be a good indicator. Did you catch that name who the technical foul was called on? I think they said Devaris. Oh, okay, so the technical foul was actually called against Nettleton. Yes, sir. Okay. I thought it was called against Paragore. <laughs> Jamison DeVault at the line, and he's the man who hits one of two of the technical shots. Makes the score, Nettleton 25, Perigold 18. After the technical foul, Perigold will have the ball. Minute and 52 seconds on the clock. Good job, Landon Manning, as he drives and scores. It's a five-point game with a minute and 45 to play in the first half. Anderson over to Demarion Daniels, Taven McCullough. Perry Gould has Nettleton scouted very well. Whenever Taven McCullough has the ball, there's a hand in his face immediately. Good pass by Taven. Andre Davis unable to convert underneath, and I believe Andre's going to pick up a foul right there. I thought we might, thought we might actually get a, a walk call on the Perry Gould player as he hit the deck, but there was a little bit of contact there uh, by Davis to aid in the Paragold rebounder falling down. He's going to go to the line uh, for a one and one. Haskins coming in as Davis leaves the ball game. I believe that's Ashton White at the line, number 13. Yes, it's Ashton White. I think he planed around and then found his way to the nylon. Ashton White with the opportunity to make it a one possession game here, and he does so. Nettleton with a three point lead. A minute and 25 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Nettleton extended the lead to at least seven um, before Paragould's gone on this last little run to cut it back to three. 
Whitaker out of the game for Nettleton and a Brandon Anderson with the basket. And he's gonna go to the line for the and one as he was fouled on his way up. Eli Schreit, the guilty party. That is his second personal, ninth team foul. Correction, make that 10th team foul. So Nettleton in the double bonus for the remaining minute and four seconds of the half. And Anderson converts the traditional three-point play and it extends the Raider lead back out to six points. Let's see how we finish out the first half here. See if we can get a stop and a score. Push this out to eight points. Maybe even get it to 10 if we get two possessions. Paragul may be very patient on offense here. They may, they may play for the last shot and see if they can go into the locker room down. If they get a bucket, you know, down four or possibly even three. 49 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Demarion Daniels boots the ball out of bounds. Devaris Whitaker back into the game for Nettleton. He'll be playing the final 45 seconds here of the second quarter. Good defense there by Jalen Graham, but he's going to be whistled for the foul. That is Jalen's second personal foul, and it's going to send Manning to the line shooting two. You know, you're up on all the Cardinal stuff. Did you see that Ozuna signed with the Braves? Oh, I did not see that. I believe that's the word on the street. I just looked at my phone. Uh, One-year deal. $18 million. Well, I was, uh, I was hoping that the Cardinals would get him for one of those one-year deals. He's... Has a lot of pop for sure, and I think he only hit maybe 230 last year, 240. Not a good batting average, but he had 29 home runs. A little bit of a gut punch because I believe the qualifying offer was 17.8 million, so we yeah. missed the mark by $200,000 it looks like. Definitely not a good outfielder in left field. No. I don't know how in the world he won a gold glove. He won a gold glove in Miami before he came to St. Louis. And that's oh. some, of the, some of the worst left field play that I've ever seen is <laughs> Ozuna. But the guy could hit the baseball hard and a long way and going to miss him. Sometimes he could have just taken his glove out there and set it down and opened it up in left field and might have had a chance to catch him more, more fly balls, you know. Yeah, that, uh, the play that I'll always remember is him climbing the wall to rob somebody of a home run, then the ball landed on the warning track. He kind of stumbled as he, he fell as he was getting down off the wall. That's the, that's the image of Marcelo Zuna that I'll remember. Three seconds, two, one. And they put the basket in, but it's waved off as it uh, came after the buzzer. So your score at the half. Nettleton 28, Paragould 22. Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show coming up after these messages. You're watching Raider Basketball on it. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because first are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. Say being a Raider is about more than just going to school. They say being a Raider is about our community, about tradition. Kindergarten at Nelton is about teachers that I love, learning that is fun. It's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider Pride is just a thought. Raider Pride forever. So don't forget it. <coughs> Mr. Miller lost his voice. 
No problem, I'll send in the replacements. Woo! Woo, Daddy Mercy! Mercy, woo, Daddy! Handsome Johnny! How the heck do you edit on this thing? Mr. McGrew, you're a photo booth. What? <laughs> this son of a f Hey, that's all right, good try, but I'll take it from here. Raider Pride! It's your time! Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back, getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what. And we welcome you to the Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show. It looks like the, uh, the Paragould High School dance team out there doing a little, uh, little entertaining for the hometown faithful. We are at the midway point. Nettleton with a 28-22 lead over Paragould. Nettleton outscored the Rams 10-9 in the first quarter. They outscored them 18-13 in the second quarter. 28-22 your score here at the half. Individual leaders for the Raiders, Devaris Whitaker has nine points. Six of them came in the second quarter. Jared Graham has six points, scored four in the second frame. Brandon Anderson, Andre Davis both with four. Damarion Daniels with two. Taven McCullough with two. Jerron Haskin with one. As for the host team, the Paragould Rams, they are led by Landon Manning with five points. Carter Starling, Eli Schreit, Sam Freeman all have four. Nathan Lear with two. Ashton White with two, Jamison DeVault with one. And that is the scoring at the break. Nettleton 28, Paragould 22, second half when we come back. This has been the Halftime Show brought to you by Consolidated Insurance. We'll be back in about seven minutes with the second half. You're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. Hey, rice farming isn't a profession. It's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I love the height of film. When I sing my alma mater, I feel it all night long. I love my school with all my heart and soul. I know I'm gonna be alright. Wherever I go, I'm a little bit country. And a little bit rock and roll. From the first time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. That's right, a place where the food comes flying to you, and it's good enough to eat. Front Page Cafe is also famous for our all-you-can-eat pass-arounds that come with every lunch or dinner. Lunch specials start at just $6.99. That includes a meal, flying rolls, and all the pass-arounds you can eat. So get your next home-cooked meal at Front Page Cafe. And don't forget, we've got the best old-fashioned breakfast in town. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. Looking for a school can be like super overwhelming. You kind of have those fears as a parent that, oh my gosh, the school that I'm going to pick, it's going to determine their future and everything else. And you know, it's a big choice that you have because you want to make sure you're going to put them in a school where they can continue their whole journey. I'm really super glad we started at Nettleton. It was relief that we had found a school where we felt comfortable sending our child. I felt like any situation he'd get put into, he would be able to succeed. Hi, I'm Mike West, the owner of Hilltop Fitness. I am the former University of Arkansas strength conditioning coach, former Ultimate Fighter contestant, UFC fighter, and Bellator competitor. I offer at Hilltop Fitness many different programs, from kids programs in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kids boxing, and kids strength conditioning and athletic training. 
as well as adult kickboxing classes and adult Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes. If you have any fitness needs or fitness goals, I'm the person to come to. The gym is open 24 hours a day. You can come in anytime. And if you're looking for that extra motivation, that extra push, no matter how bad a shape you're in, we can help you. And if Craig Miller can come to the gym and get in shape, you can do it as well. Hilltop Fitness, 1712 North Old Greensboro Road, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Is Raider Pride truly justified at Middleton High School? Does John Adams play a mean fiddle? That's how you do it, son. Middleton High School, where Raider Pride is justified. When I'm headed to my school, so happy I got ready to be all I D E. We can shoot the hoop and swing the bat. I bet you wish your school was cool like that. Middleton High School is for me. We got Raider Private Only school with MTV. Coolest school in history. Now you know our black post from the D. When you come into our house, you know you're gonna get beat. Middleton High School is for me. We got Raider Private Middleton TV production, Raider President's budget. Yeah, we Raiders got the comfort ship, a loaded. Everybody wants to be a show, a boating. Raider Pride in the building, yeah, yeah, I know it. Oh, yeah, Raider Nation till the day is over. Raider Pride, just a fact, got it on my side. Six side, be the guy, run up and you get a high. Press us the ball, and I'ma score it like. What y'all know about Fifth Period Raider Pride? Hop up on the field, you might just have a juke and job. Every day, every day, yeah, I rip the fire. Cause yeah, you know we Fifth Period, yeah, we make it live. What is America? Is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother! America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's truck accessories! Russell's truck accessories? Yeah, Russell's truck accessories! They got chrome and aluminum wheels! They got big old mud crawling tires! They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies in their little compact cars! Russell's truck accessories! It's more American than Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne! Russell's truck accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless America! And God bless Russell's truck accessories! Man, our school's pretty amazing. I know. It kind of makes you just want to break, break in a song. song? I like the faculty. I like MTV. I like the principal. Although he paddled me. And we welcome you back. The second half about to get started here in about 30 seconds. We welcome you back to this broadcast of Raider Basketball on MTV. Nettleton with a 28-22 lead over Paragould. Catching up on the world of sports with Coach Josh Wright hanging out with us. And uh, there's a couple of new Hall of Famers elected today, Coach. Yes, uh, one of them was a part-time Cardinal. Am I correct? Larry Walker. That's right, Larry and, Walker. And was the other the one, Derek Jeter? Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter, I thought he would go in unanimously, but there was one person that voted against him. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm not, I'm not, nor will I ever be a Yankee fan. But you got to respect a player like Derek Jeter, his career accomplishments, what he meant to the organization. Uh, just an, you know, unbelievable ball player, unbelievable talent, and a well-deserved nod into the Hall of Fame today. Uh, no doubt, I can't believe somebody voted against him. Demarion Daniels starts the second half on a positive note for the Raiders as he sinks a 
three-point basket. That's his fifth point of the game, and it gives Nettleton their biggest lead of the game, 31-22. Yeah, I was just about to ask if that was the largest lead. That's going to be off the heel of Taven McCullough. Paragould drive, ball deflects off Taven's heel, and they'll have the basketball underneath their own basket. Uh, looking to cut into this Raider lead that, like you said, is stretched out to nine points. Middleton has effectively taken the crowd out of the game. You look at the Paragold student section. They're sitting down with their hand, with their chins in their hand. And at the start of this game, they were alive over there, Coach. Yeah, it's made them a lot more interested in their phones all of a sudden yep. than in the ball game. Maybe they're watching our broadcast, our live stream. Maybe that's what they're doing on the phone. Always good to increase the viewership. That's right. Nathan Lear with the two-point basket makes it. Well, the scoreboard says it's 31 to four. Nettleton with a 27-point lead. Oh, there it is, 24 now, okay. That was a typographical error. We'll take it. Definitely. Let's get that mercy clock going. Hey, how about that nifty move there by Jared Graham? His eighth point of the game. Good baseline drive by Jared. And then the Raiders extend up a full-court zone press, trying to control the tempo of the game a little bit, maybe looking to get an easy takeaway. Perigold breaks at that time fairly easily. And they set up their half-court offense. Tell you one thing, you, you talked about the Raiders extending the lead to nine points and kind of taking the crowd out of it. Um, this is a place that's very difficult to play. It's a gym that gets very, very loud. Um, Three-point basket there by Lear. Yeah, the the way it's designed is with the, the airplane hanger right. style, the the rounded uh, ceiling, and it's uh, acoustically. Nothing escapes. It just hits the roof and bounces back down at you. I know, I, and it's not a good memory necessarily, but when the uh, Lady Rams hit a three at the buzzer, I think it was two seasons ago up here, about you know about this time, I think it was a, a January conference game, they hit a three at the buzzer to uh, beat our senior girls. That may be about the loudest I've ever heard a high school gym get. Was well, a, a deafening roar. I can remember a couple of volleyball games here. Yep. When the band. Was yeah, their playing. band. When their band's playing behind the behind the scores table there. Um, yeah, the the building's just shaking. There's another two point basket for Paragould. They've cut this Raider nine point lead down to four. Taven McCullough with the ball in his hands on the wing gets it back to Graham on the high right wing. Back to McCullough in the corner. Three point shots no good. That was off on that was off on uh, Jamison DeVault. He did a good job of jumping up in the air, trying to throw it off the Raider defender that was standing on the baseline, but it deflected back off of Duval before he could get out of the way. Devaris Whitaker with the as Chris Hudgison loves to say, the hoop and the harm. He's going to go to the line with the potential of the traditional three-point play. And DeVars unable to convert the three-point play. Four minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Nettleton up six. DeVaris Whitaker with the steal. DeVaris Whitaker with a slam. You could tell he was getting his feet set right. That young man, he can jump, coach. Yes, I mean, for a, for a six-foot guard, he can get off the floor. Well, his, there's a steal by the Raiders. Can't come up with a basketball. It's going to be off of Anderson. Off of Brandon Anderson. Timeout, Paragould, full timeout with 4.04 left in the third quarter. Paragould 29, Nettleton 37. 
We'll be right back after these messages. You are you're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. That's right, a place where the food comes flying to you, and it's good enough to eat. Front Page Cafe is also famous for our all-you-can-eat pass-arounds that come with every lunch or dinner. Lunch specials start at just $6.99. That includes a meal, flying rolls, and all the pass-arounds you can eat. So get your next home-cooked meal at Front Page Cafe. And don't forget, we've got the best old-fashioned breakfast in town. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. And we welcome you back to Paragould High School with 404 remaining in the third quarter. The Raiders with an eight point lead. I'd like to say a great big thanks to our friends from Shadrach's Coffee for sponsoring tonight's basketball game. Cold January night. 26 degrees outside. Hopefully, wherever you are, it's nice and warm, and you're enjoying some great Raider basketball thanks to Shadrach's Coffee. It's going to be cold in the morning. Why don't you drop by any of their four locations in Jonesboro, warm things up, get your day started right with a big cup of coffee from Shadrach. Shadrach's Coffee, fuel for your soul. Three-point attempt, no good. Jared Graham with the rebound. Graham passes to Anderson. Anderson, good. Brandon and, Anderson. And the Raiders have a 10-point lead, the largest lead by either team in the contest. Perigold brings the ball across half court, 332 left to play in the third. I like the run that the Raiders have gone on here because after they got a nine-point lead to start the third quarter, Perigold jumped right back in it and, and cut the lead to four. I like to see the... Resilience of the Raiders, weathering that storm and pushing the lead back out to 10. As Brandon Anderson whistled for his second personal, second team foul this half. Picked up the foul, trying to kind of squeeze in and get in between the dribble, the dribble handoff. Raiders on defense, looking for a stop and then go down and add to that lead. Lear working on Anderson. Nice move there by Nathan Lear. Tabin McCullough from three. Unable to get it to drop. It's one of those nights for Tabin Coates where it's almost like there's a, a lid on the bucket for him. Yeah, he has not found, found his rhythm yet. Heck of a shooter, but some nights are just like that. And that's one of those nights that as a coach, you hope they look to start just getting to the basket. Now we see this back and forth once again. There we go. There was a drive by Taven. DeVaris Whitaker misses a chance at a dunk on the rebound. That would have been an emphatic put there you back. Go, Brandon Anderson. Comes out of nowhere, gets the steal. I believe Perigold decided to take a timeout. We'll take it with him with two minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Raiders up by eight, 41 to 33. You're watching Raider basketball on NTV. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because first are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. We're Terry Gray. Rice farming isn't a profession. And we welcome you back to Paragold High School. Paragold High School's gymnasium, Doc Painter Court. Do you ever know Doc Painter, coach. I uh, no, I, that's well before my time. I I have uh, actually heard some people talk about him, but I don't know a whole lot about him. Legendary, legendary coach here for Paragould. Actually, he was a mentor to our principal, Brian Carter. The whistle, the players whistle said. Yeah, the cheerleaders didn't realize that. They're going crazy. And a foul charge against Nathan Lear, third personal. That is Perigold's second team foul. 
But legendary basketball coach, I've never seen a more docile coach than Doc Painter. I'm sure he hollered at the boys during practice, but during Didn't the game. Didn't ever give that indication during the game? No, during the game he would just he would sit there still, and he was coaching, but he would never get animated. Just, you know, very, very um, laid back during the game. It's It, it was uh, definitely a different style, but he is well-loved. And uh, as I mentioned, our high school princ principal, Brian Carter, he was the head football coach here. And Doc Painter kind of mentored him in the ways of the education business. And we uh, we can't say Doc Painter's name around Mr. Carter without putting our hands over our hearts at Nettleton. He is a well-loved man. I don't know if uh, – is Doc Painter still alive? No, he passed away several years ago. Okay, well, I was at a oh! – Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Jared Graham, little uh, – Little alley oop backboard pass right there. Unfortunately, unable to convert. Thankfully, Jared got the rebound, put it back in. Ten point lead. Hey, that would have been on the highlight reel there, yes, coach. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's twice tonight that Devaris has had a chance to bring down the house and possibly the backboard, and just barely missed both times. Got one dunk in the ball game, and man, just fraction fractions of an inch away from having three, and probably having this Nettleton crowd going crazy and the Paragool crowd going to the door. As it is, there's 37 seconds remaining in the third quarter, and the vast majority of this crowd definitely hanging around. Miss Edelton is up by eight. That was a pretty play, everything but the finish. Jared Graham with a beautiful backboard alley-oop pass. Might have been just a little bit tall. DeVaris unable to grab it and slam it. 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. One thing about it, these fans here tonight have gotten their money's worth. Great girls game. Lady Raiders came out on top, and good game here in the nightcap. Yeah, we're going to have two close basketball games. It's going to be tooth and nail. Mm. And that's going to help make it a little bit closer. It sure will. Sam Freeman. Going to the line for the and one. Six point Raider lead, he can make it a five point Raider lead if he converts this traditional three point play. Thirteen seconds on the clock here in the third quarter and Sam Freeman at the line. Tavares Whitaker, the leading scorer for the Raiders, has got 13 points in this contest. Freeman's free throw, no good. Battle for the rebound goes Nettleton's way. Jared Graham, spin move, kicks it back to Taven McCullough. McCullough from three, no good off the front of the rim. Three seconds, two, one. Paragould is going to get a last second shot off, and it's oh. no good as Landon Manning did a good job of getting himself in good position. And, a reasonably uh, good percentage shot for him, three-point basket, but no good. That's good news for the Raiders. We're headed to the fourth quarter. Nettleton up 43-37. You're watching Raider basketball on NTV. Summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. What is America? Is it a bald eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother. America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's truck accessories. Russell's truck accessories? Yeah, Russell's truck accessories. They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies in their little compact cars. Russell's truck accessories. It's more American than Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne. Russell's truck accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless America and God bless Russell's truck accessories.
And we welcome you back to Raider basketball on NTV. Fourth quarter underway. Perigold unable to inbound the ball. I believe they, uh, they, a five second violation. Obviously, they didn't get there in time to get it in. And Nettleton, the beneficiary. Nettleton up six. Seven minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this game. Devaris Whitaker leading the way for Nettleton. 13 points. Jared Graham with 10. Devarion Daniels, Nettleton slowing things down here. Devaris Whitaker speeds things up, drives, gets the basket. And he's going to the line to shoot the and one. A foul is charged against. Well, I don't not sure who that foul was charged against. But I do know that DeVaris Whitaker converts the three-point play. Coach Josh Wright is headed to the bus to get that thing started. He's driving the bus tonight. Man of many talents, Josh Wright. He's a bus driver, assistant coach of the basketball team, and the color commentator of Raider basketball. Here's the man himself. Welcome back to the broadcast location, Coach Josh Wright. Jared Graham with his 12th point of the ball game, and Paragould elects to call a timeout with 6.51 remaining in the game. Nettleton up 48-37. to You're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. Collision Repair is celebrating their 40th anniversary. For 40 years, Collision Repair has had your back, getting your repairs done quickly using the best tools and technology. They've been able to keep you updated online throughout the repair process. No matter what the bad guys try, Collision Repair works with your insurance to make sure you don't have the worst experience possible. Here's to Collision Repair on their 40th anniversary. Your friendly neighborhood body shop. Front page. Nettleton with an 11 point lead with 6.51 to play. And I'll say this about Paragold High School they play very good music at their basketball games. It's been an 80s hit parade here tonight at Doc Painter Court. Six fifty one to play and ticking. Paragold able to get the ball in. Paragold loses the handle on it. And they missed the basket, but it's going Nettleton's way. Eli Schreit missed the layup. Looks like he was trying to avoid getting it pinned against the backboard or getting blocked. Uh, kind of rushed his shot. Nettleton couldn't come down with a rebound. Trying to get it inside to Freeman there. Good defense by Demarion Daniels knocking it away. Get into Freeman this time. Partially blocked by Jalen Graham. Anderson to Jerry Graham. Euro step. Oh, and a whistle in for traveling. I don't believe Coach Deaton agreed with that particular call. He, he, he said that. He said, I kindly disagree, I believe, if I'm reading lips from across the court. Yep. Might have said that's terrible. But <laughs> One or the other. It's hard to read lips from this far. Jared Graham picks the pocket. Here come the Raiders. Jalen to Jared. Golden Graham's. Oh. I don't know if he, uh, let's see what the call is there. I guess he's called an offensive foul against Jared Graham. That's Jared's fourth personal. And Bubba Deaton calls a timeout. Coach Bubba Deaton calls a timeout for the Raiders. A full timeout. 5.58 remaining in this ball game. Nettleton up 11, 48-37. You're watching Raider basketball on NTV. And it's good enough to eat. 
Front Page Cafe is also famous for our all-you-can-eat pass-arounds that come with every lunch or dinner. Lunch specials start at just $6.99. That includes a meal, flying rolls, and all the pass-arounds you can eat. So get your next home-cooked meal at Front Page Cafe. And don't forget, we've got the best old-fashioned breakfast in town. Front Page Cafe, home of the flying rolls. Hi, I'm Mike West, the owner of Hilltop Fitness. I am the former University of Arkansas strength conditioning coach, former Ultimate Fighter contestant, UFC fighter, and Bellator competitor. I offer at Hilltop Fitness many different programs, from kids programs in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kids boxing, and kids strength conditioning. And I- we welcome you back to fourth quarter action here on a cold January night. But the gym is nice and warm here at Paragould High School. The Raiders up by 11, 5.58 on the clock. Little journey on the PA. Don't stop believing. Has my compliments to the PA guy. Very good music selection tonight. That's got to be traveling, doesn't it? Yeah, he's kind of scooted his foot there. Coach, it looks like the gym, the uh, gym floor, Doc Painter Court, might be a little bit slick in places. Uh, one of the officials said that one time tonight during the senior girls game as he came by. Said it felt just a little bit like an ice skating rink. Of course, I've got on <laughs> dress shoes. I don't have a whole lot of, a lot of grip in, on those, on the sole of those anyway. So I'm not, I'm not ever able to tell on a game night. Nettleton playing keep away right now for the Rams. Massaging that clock. The clock is at 5.15. DeVaris Whitaker kicks it back out to Demarion Daniels. Demarion Daniels to Jared Graham. Paragould putting the pressure on the Raiders. DeVaris Whitaker drives. Kicks it to Jalen Graham. Jalen Graham shoots. Two-point basket, Jalen Graham. That makes it a 13-point lead, Coach. That's the largest lead of the game. See what Nettle can do defensively here. Brandon Anderson going to get called for the reach. It's Brandon's third personal. Fifth team foul this half. Neither neither, Neither team in the bonus just yet. 447 left in the fourth quarter. Manning with the ball, brings it across the timeline. Lear, ill-advised three-pointer. Jalen Graham with the rebound. Here comes DeVaris Whitaker. DeVaris Whitaker feeds to Demarion Daniels. No good. Paragold Sam Freeman gets the rebound. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Freeman drives, Jalen Graham steps in front of his way and fortunately is whistled for the foul. Third personal, sixth team foul. Nathan Lear to inbound under his own goal. Two-point basket, Eli Schreit. The Rams pulls. haven't gone away yet. No, nah, they're, uh, they're not rolling over for anybody. They're down 11 with four minutes to play. Jalen to Anderson. Anderson can't get it to fall. Manning with the rebound. and Manning misses the layup. DeVaris Whitaker with the rebound, and they're going to whistle Nathan Lear for the foul. That is his fourth personal, fifth team foul. 3.45 on the clock. That's Jamison DeVault. you got to give DeVault credit. He's he's not – his team down 11 with 3.44 to play. Still hustling. Still hustling. Still making things uncomfortable for the Raiders there on the inbound play. If the Rams have any chance of getting back in this in this game, they're going to have to get some takeaways. Well, opportunity may have slipped right through their hands right there, but the Raiders need to look to take advantage of this. Baseline out of bounds. 3.31 left to go with an 11-point lead. Let's see what 
Coach Deaton has called. Good call there by the referee as DeVaris lost the handle, but it did go off a of Perigold yep. Ram. And a good play by DeVaris Whitaker. Timeout, Nettleton. Did the basket count? Basket did count. 52-39 the score. Nettleton with a timeout. 3.26 in the game. We'll be right back with more Raider basketball on NT. Say being a Raider is about more than just going to school. They say being a Raider is about our community, about tradition. Kindergarten at Nettleton is about teachers that I love, learning that is fun. It's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider pride is just a thought. Raider pride forever. We welcome you back to Ram Gym. I guess that's the name of this place, Paragould Ram Gym. I know it's Doc Painter Court. I know it's on the campus of Paragould High School, and I know the Raiders are up 52-39 to 39 with three minutes and 26 remaining seconds in this game. The Raiders will travel to Mountain Home this Friday to face the very tough Mountain Home Bombers and Lady Bombers. Should be a couple of good games Friday night, Coach. Yeah, I think that uh – if the Lady Bombers won tonight, I know the both girls teams will be undefeated. I actually know. I'm, I think Mountain Home got Mount, beat by Jonesboro. You're right. You're right. I was just about to correct myself. I, uh, Mountain Home did get beat by Jonesboro at Jonesboro about a week ago. That's Nathan Lear with a three-point basket. 52 to 42. Now, was that a three-point basket, Coach, or a two-point basket? I believe it was a three-point basket. I thought it was three-point as well. Yeah, because it was 39-52. It was Next foul for both teams. We'll put the other team in the bonus. Yeah, that's the 16 foul on Paragord this, this half. So. Two minutes and 50, two minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the game and ticking. Coach Deaton's team up by 10. Jerry Graham drives and boy, he just lost his footing. Let's hope he's okay. That was a ugly looking, ugly looking fall. Yeah, that, that floor is definitely slick down there with the heat on in here and being so cold outside, got to be some condensation forming on the floor. And like the referee told Coach Wright in the girls' game, it's a little bit like an ice rink in spots out there. I'm just thankful that Jerry Graham was not hurt right there. It's a good way to hyperextend your knee, a play like that. But Jerry Graham is having a great game tonight with 12 points. He hops up. He's in good shape. So, thankfully, nobody hurt on that. Nettleton with a little bit of full court pressure here, trying to slow down the Rams. Offensive attack, trying to protect a 10 point lead with two and a half left to play in the game. Good job by Jared. Let's see if he can't finish. And he plays it safe with a layup and that counts just as much as a slam dunk, coach. It does, and like you said, he, he kind of went into that gingerly just to make sure his feet were underneath <laughs> him, I think. I uh, think, understandably so. Yes, after that last fall that he took down there, I don't, I don't think he was in any mood to, to go for a dunk. Jared can dunk it. Undoubtedly thought about it right there, but he played it safe and got the basket on the layup. Good, good rebound. Yeah, good DeMarion rebound by Demarion Daniels. Pass goes off of Lear, I believe. Deflected right into the Nettleton bench. Yep. Notice that Bubba Deaton is carrying a towel over there. Kind of, that might be his new trademark right there. Sometimes he's waving it, sometimes yep. he's chewing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, Jerry Tarkanian, the old I believe UNLV that's right. coach? Chewed on that towel. <laughs> foul charge against Jamison DeVault. That's the seventh team foul against Paragould. So, 
Jared Graham will be going to the line. He'll be shooting the one and one. I'll tell you this, Coach, the, uh, the last time that I had a kidney stone decide to move inside of my uh, midsection, I was laying on the bedroom floor, chewing on a towel myself, doing anything I could to try to cope Distract, with the pain. Distract yourself from the, the feeling going on inside. I grabbed the towel from the, from the towel pile and uh, bit down on that thing. I thought about the old coach. I believe it was a UNLV uh, Tarkanian. Is that his name? Yes, sir. Jerry Tarkanian. Yeah, used to chew on the towel on the bench. So a man's got to do what a man's got to do. A minute 41 remaining in the game. Raiders up 14. Good hustle over there by Jalen Graham. and Still not really sure what the official timeout was for. They stopped the ball right at half court. That made Perigold have to inbound the basketball. Nettleton extended some pressure up, and then they turn it over, uh, give the ball back to Nettleton. I'm sure that the Perigold coach wasn't pleased with that. Now, there may have been a legitimate reason for it, but uh, no real indication as to what the timeout was for. Jared Graham is fouled with 123 remaining in the game. He'll be going to the line. Foul is charged against number 12, Carter Starling, third personal, eighth team foul. Jared Graham will be shooting the one and one. Look at Jared Graham there as he's getting ready to sink a couple of free throws. Yeah, I hit a few free throws. Let's ice this basketball game and get the buses fired up. Head back into Craighead County. Misses the second, and it's a minute and 20. Nettleton with a 15-point lead now. Eli Shright with a nice jump shot. DeVaris Whitaker loses his footing, gets the ball to Jerron Haskin. Jerron Haskin with a rebound. Jerron Haskin puts the ball in the bucket. 59 to 44, less than a minute to play. Two point basket by Eli Shright. He scored six points here in the fourth quarter. DeVaris Whitaker is going to be whistled for the charge over there. And a good job by Nathan Lear picking up that charge. It's one of the mysteries of basketball to me, Coach, is why don't you get to shoot free throws after an offensive foul? Can you explain that to uh, me in these final 40 seconds? No. I don't understand that. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you real simply. No, I can't. <laughs> Nettleton in the bonus. And that foul is charged against Andre Davis, second personal. Maybe because you don't have the basketball in your possession, typically that's when the other team has the ball, so you're getting getting possession of the basketball. Maybe it's supposed to be reward enough. That's That would be my only guess. That makes sense, but I've always wondered that. I do like to see a young man pick up a charge. It's one of my favorite plays in this great sport. It can be a big big momentum getter uh, for a team. Jerron Haskin. Big plus minus to it. Yes, sir. Jerron Haskin. That's one thing that uh, coaches love for sure. And Jamison DeVault with the foul over there. And even as a basketball coach, this is my least favorite part of the game. When when the game really isn't in question, but the fouls continue to come. And I, you know, I've been on both sides of it. I've been on the on the losing side of a game. And you still, as a coach, you don't want to give up. And you're telling your kids to play hard, go for the ball, you know, get a quick foul, hope they miss a free throw. And I've been on the side where my kids are stepping up to the line, knocking down two free throws, and you wonder why they keep fouling and keep dragging the game out. Uh, but 
it is all part of the game. Coach Jerry Graham has 18 points tonight. Heck of a game for number three. I wonder if that's the first time that he's led or tied for the lead in scoring. And going to be an official's timeout substitution as Jamarion Fowler comes in and Jerry Graham heads to the bench. After a good night, though, as he's got 18 points, as Coach Wright mentioned, He's tied with DeVaris Whitaker for the lead tonight. I know a lot of nights for the senior boys, it's been uh, DeVaris Whitaker or Taven McCullough. I'm sure there's been some other people that have led them. Uh, I haven't been able to look at the box score after every game. Uh, but like you said, it always helps to have a little bit more balanced scoring attack. Nettleton gets it across the timeline and Paragould opting to let the time go out, and it will. Nettleton will win this game by the final of 60 to 47, the first conference win of the season for the Raiders. And we've come into a uh, tough place to play, Paragould High School, and picked up a couple of conference wins. Coach, that's a good night. It's a good night for the Raiders. Good night for the Raiders. Thank you for sitting in with me, Coach. We'll take a brief time out. I'll get the totals, and when we come back, we'll have the Consolidated Insurance postgame show after a big doubleheader sweep. You're watching Raider basketball on NTV. Eagle soaring over a Virginian sunrise? I'll tell you what America is, brother! America is getting your truck fixed up and Russell's truck accessories. Russell's truck accessories? Yeah, Russell's truck accessories! They got chrome and aluminum wheels. They got big old mud crawling tires. They got lift kits so you can look down on the vegans and gummies in their little compact cars. Russell's truck accessories. It's more American than Ronald Reagan playing home run derby with John Wayne. Russell's truck accessories is located on South Stadium in Jonesboro. God bless America and God bless Russell's truck accessories! And we welcome you to the Consolidated Insurance postgame show after a 13-point Raider victory, 60-47. to 47. Said it all night long. Shout out to this Paragould folks, the great music that they played. Get a little Dixieland delight, Alabama taking us out. And Raider faithful delighted with the results of both games as the Lady Raiders defeated Paragould 49-41 to 41, and the guys defeated the Rams 60 to 47. Nettleton led 10 to 9 after the first quarter, 18 to excuse me 28 to 22 in at half, 43 to 37 after the third quarter and your final 60 to 47. For the Raiders, the leading scorers Jared Graham and DeVaris Whitaker both had 18 points. Big nights for Jared and DeVaris. Brandon Anderson had eight, Damarion Daniels with five, Andre Davis with four, Jerron Haskin with three, Jalen Graham with two, Taven McCullum with two. For Paragool, the leading scorer was Nathan Lear with 14, Eli Schreit pitched in 11, and Sam Freeman finished with eight. It's Nettleton's first conference win of the uh, season. They moved to one and three in conference, four and 11 overall. Paragool drops to 1 and 14, 0 oh and 4. Nettleton's next game is at Mountain Home. We will it's Friday night. We will be unable to bring that game to you on the live stream. You can listen to it on 94.1 Bob FM. Our very own Cade Carlton will be on the call, class of 2015. Hope that you can tune in and support the Raiders in that way. So happy night tonight, Consolidated Insurance post game show. We appreciate our great friends Randy and Lana Johnson for all your insurance needs. 
Look up Consolidated Insurance, Russell's Truck Accessories, First Community Bank, Collision Repair, Shadrach's Coffee, Front Page Cafe, Delaplane Seed. That's our sponsors for tonight. Say a shout-out to Athena Ludwig, Ryan Bell, Parker Clements, Lyndon Webb, Chandler Holt, and Josh Wright for helping bring this game. And thank you all for watching. It's been a pleasure to bring it to you. Hope that you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed bringing you this broadcast of Raider Basketball on NTV. Going home to Nettleton happy tonight for sure. And as always, remember, Raider Pride is justified. Raider Pride forever. Oh, marcher, oh, marcher, he's a party.